See right, I how I know that you did not listen to probably any of my podcast mm. because you asked whether we can say f in this episode, yeah, yeah. Yeah. right? So mm. what I've just learned from our good buddy here, Space mm. Dollar, mm. aka Syed Abdullah. Hello. Will we start recording? Yeah. Yeah, we are. As I was saying, just now Space Dollar here was just explaining to me that as long as we don't say in the first two minutes... Mother just said... Oh, there you go. He just said it already. I thought we were not supposed to say it in the first two minutes. <laughs> um, I can, you know, that's the power of editing. Yeah. And guys, we got Ashraf come out on the podcast as well, recurring guest. We've had him on maybe two to three times. Hello, hello. I didn't Hi. see you here. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Suddenly he popped out of nowhere. I <laughs> wasn't here. I'm, not, I'm here now. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Hantu, they hantu, bro. Suddenly, tiba -tiba they keluar. When's the last time uh, you came on the podcast? Huh? I think about a year, eh, almost a year ago. Is it the one with Hindra? Uh, no, it was me, uh, me, Vishnu and Murti. The one we talked about LGBT. <laughs> you, wait, oh shit, I can't remember. Oh. Talked about Islam. Uh, okay. Talked yeah. about a uh, lot of stuff like about uh, people not speaking Malay in Malaysia. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. And then uh, about electric cars, we got we got into a fight, a social media fight with oh. uh, the electric car community. Yeah. Um, nowadays, yeah. right, a lot of fights are happening also in the comments, but um, I don't fight with them anymore. Oh. I, I I used to fight with them, and then I kind of got it just can't be bothered anymore, bro. Yeah, you you always. I don't know, do you win? I, I Sometimes if I win also, I feel like an idiot la, for replying. What do you do when you get negative comments? When I get or what do I do to get it? I mean, what do you do when, when you're posting a video and uh -huh. then you get a shit ton of negative comments? Before I... Uh, the first time I ever got a lot of negative comments, right? Mm. We were doing this video. Um, so, you know World of Buzz? Yeah. Yeah, World of Buzz. So, they did this... They had this post where they're talking about this girl in the airport and then the trolley attendant came over to her and said, Hey, how are you doing? You mm. look very uh, beautiful and, and sexy. Mm. Um, where do you live? So, she said she was sexually har harassed. And then in the video, we were talking about like, how the fuck do we know if this is even a real story? Because mm. World of Buzz only wrote that article. Mm. When you I clicked the link, I tried to go further and see who's this person or what. There's no further details. Mm. So it seems like it could just be a story, mm. you know? And then whether she was sexually harassed because the, the guy said that you're sexy, mm. um, we were we were kind of discussing that. Mm. So in the real, we were talking about that. And then one of my friends said, maybe she's just some that wants attention, mm. you know? And then when I post the video, I cropped it. I literally thought it was just a funny video. Mm. And there was like hundreds of comments saying that you guys are fatherless and motherless. Mm. Um, you look like, uh, you guys are the, look like shit or the worst people or stupid or whatever, stuff mm. like that. Mm. So I, I, you know, first comment, I thought, okay, I'm, I'm cool. You know, haha, it's funny. Mm. Then 10 more, 10 more, and then hundreds came in. And then I'm like, I felt like, oh, what do I do? You know, mm. like, what do I do? And then I decided not to do anything. Mm. And then after that, whenever it comes, hit comments, so I kind of just get immune, man. Mm. Uh, how about yourself, man? I Actually, love negative comments. You love it? Uh? I fucking love it. Do you... Do I you reply it. I try my best. Especially in the beginning days, la, when you are just starting to be a content creator. Wait, where's my camera? Is it this one or this one? This doesn't, one, right? doesn't yeah. matter. Um, especially in the beginning days when you just start being a content creator, um, I think it's super important for you to reply your audience. And whenever I get negative comments, I'm always like, oh, thank you for the advice. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the criticism. Um, I usually always reply negativity with kindness. And then at one point, they feel like, shit, malu do aku, asyik cakap benda bukan-bukan kat mamat ni. And then they move past that phase. But now... After doing Space Dola for about three years and a half, yeah. whenever someone say negative shit, ah, whoo, the Space Dola army, ah, whoo, don't play around with that. Mm. That time, I got one guy say, "Ni muka kurap cakap apa?" I think there was like three hundred replies on that guy saying, "Sorry, what's kurap?" My face, I have like white spots all over yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so they assume it's kurap, but I have vitiligo. What What is kurap? Uh, Rash, like rash, rash, yeah, rash, like rash. Yeah. So I initially thought it was a birthmark. No, no. And then no. I saw your older pictures. Yeah. Um, you jacked, yeah. and you, there was no so-called birthmark. Mm. What, what is it again, sorry? Vitiligo. Okay, what is it's it? A, it's a pigmentation on my skin that is a bit off. And it's all over my face and my body and everything. So uh, I'm a sexy human zebra, bro. Ah, <laughs> yes. Michael, Jack Michael Jackson has it. Michael Jackson had it. Yeah. Oh, okay. The only difference is he, he after, when he got it, he was ve it was very severe for him. Ah. So then he decided to just Go full white, la, yeah. just go full white, lah. Yeah, so um, I think I got that like four or five years ago. Bro, the, when when Michael Jackson died, uh. right? I found it our our news coverage. I don't know whether it was the Malay or English one. It doesn't matter, lah. Mm. It's just media outlet. Mm. I felt like they did such a disservice, right? They mm. just put 
um, what pops uh, what king of pop. is he king of pop or king of pop. yeah king mm. of pop king of pop star wacko jacko mm. mati like meninggal dunia i'm like what bro the guy died can you don't call him wacko jacko mm. you know yeah, like, yeah, at yeah, least yeah. just michael jackson mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um so does this is it just a, a pigment a, a thing or like does it affect you in any way no it's pigment on my my face my body is everywhere actually but but does it affect no, your no, health no. in any way no no awesome yeah yeah i'm unique yeah. bro uh, God decided to put a bit of sugar on, uh, on me. Like, yes. Here you go, son. Here's a little bit of uh, sugar for you to make he you did, unique. He did latte art on your yeah, body. Yeah, bro, yeah. He, he's also trying to help out your social media yeah, career. Yeah. It makes la, me you know? unique, bro. When I go out, people mm. know me mostly <coughs> because of the spots on my face. Of course, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's what every Indian in Malaysia is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I play along with it, bro. I'm like, yeah, I'm the zebra man. I'm the fucking zebra man. <laughs> <laughs> so where's your spot, sir, bro? Huh? Where's your spot? My my spot is here. I have one. No, 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 no. I thought you were talking about. Oh no no no! It's just like the bruises. <laughs> Where <laughs> did that come from? <laughs> no no! I thought that was the joke, lah. <laughs> oh the oh the porte. Oh okay, we're going oh, political, that's, that's bro. That's what you call it. Uh, it's called por- uh, porte. 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 Uh, so can I ask why <laughs> you guys wear it? Ah uh, no! Uh, Good question. I, I don't wear it. I'm a Muslim. <laughs> Oh shit, sorry my bro. Uh, hey, Vishnu, where's yours? Uh, <laughs> are you Hindu? Yeah, Vishnu is Hindu. Uh. Yeah, so where's your spot bro? No, I'm curious, like why, uh, what, what, what's the meaning behind it? Yeah. I'm not trying to disrespect anyone, I'm just curious. Okay. So I think the, the significance of it is that it's mainly worn by Indian women mm-hmm. and married women. So right. when, when, when you see the red dot, mm. it actually means like you're married to someone. Right. And if you, and if you see if it's a, like a black dot, it means like you're single, but it's mostly done by women. Indian Shit, I should be wearing so, a black dot then. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I got a mole here. I, uh, I hope people... Doesn't count. Oh, okay. Doesn't yeah. count. Yeah. Doesn't count. I, the guy wants to take credit. Exactly. Doesn't yeah. count, bro. Uh, <laughs> I, I have Vishnu here every yeah. time someone assumes I'm Hindu. Uh, so uh, he just explains the Hindu, Hindu, Hindu thing. He speaks way better than I am. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just don't know about... Like, because, uh, right. I mean, like, we are raised Muslim like the way Malays are raised in Malaysia. Okay, okay. Like, they... I mean, like, we shouldn't. Uh. We should all know the cultures. Yes. But, you know, like in Malaysia, we are, you know, naturally segregated. It's okay to not know. I mean, if yeah, you I mean, don't like, know, okay just, know, just ask lah. Yeah. The yeah, reason okay. why I'm asking about this, I'm very excited because I'm yeah. going to do this thing in India very soon. Mm, and I want to really join in for the culture that they do over there. Mm. So I'm super excited. Nice. Yeah. It's going to create a lot of controversy because yeah. um, mm. a lot of uh, who start in Malaysia think like oh you know what you shouldn't do this it's haram and shit oh. but yeah who cares so if this is the first time you've watched this podcast or maybe it's your second or third episode please please if you enjoyed it especially please do hit the like button hit the subscribe button leave a comment what you thought about this episode suggestions who you want to see in future podcasts and carry on enjoying the rest of the episodes what festival or what, what part so, of their culture uh, practice that you're doing I will be living with the Agoris Ooh. Is that a is that an Indian Jeez. native it's a, tribe? It's a, it's a beautiful and unique tribe. What what I find them to be so fascinating is so Indians have a lot of gods, right? Yeah. They pray to the god of death and war, if I'm yeah. correct. Okay. But what makes them so unique is they eat human flesh. Yeah. 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 So I was like, I saw Mat Saleh doing it. I'm like, uh-huh. why the fuck is there no Malay doing it? Yeah. I'm gonna uh-huh. do it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So why do they this Agor the Agori mm. people, right? Mm. Why do they eat human flesh like mm. it can't just be straight up cannibalism for the sake of mm. they, they want to eat right mm. it has to be a ritual they don't eat the live body la. they eat the dead one it's like bacon uh, uh, um, why they do it like bacon uh, haram yeah. Yeah. yeah so why they do it we'll know more detail once I'm done to shoot mm. but um, we have our tour guide ready we have the, the officers there who are mm. going to take care of us um, but it'll be a wonderful experience all this started after we shot the Indonesia episode uh, when are you going to do this Agori trip? 15 January Awesome Yeah. yeah. How long will you, will you be travelling for? Six days. Six days Six days Yeah yeah. I think we're fantastic We have everything lined up We we have the tour guide ready um, You're going to see me Wearing a necklace With 24 skulls I'm going to cover my body With the dead ash And join and dance with them uh-huh. uh, We're going to have a ceremony Where I'm going to ask them To do black magic on me To, to prove that it's not real Oh Oh I'm not a ustad, yeah. but that is haram, dude. No, but, but do it, go do it, go do it. Go do it. And I mean, like, haram in Malaysian standards. Yeah. La. See, but, that's the no, thing. Yeah, yeah. Why, why Malaysian standards? I'm sick and tired of seeing content creator gelek botot to jotete, bro. 
I'm tired of that shit. Uh, uh, translate that in English. Gale botto I just heard that that okay. Shaking bad teeth. Yeah. yeah. Shaking the teeth. Yeah. Okay, you what? know, like no value. Like we see too many of those content creators in Malaysia, and the the traveling type content creator are all about fancy hotels, and you know, I want to show you how cool this place is. Mm-hmm. I have no interest in that. Um. So Agora is to be very interesting. So yeah. one, um, I came across your profile. I, I, some dude lah. Like, I was mm. doing the site. Okay, so I was actually doing. The episode with your brother, mm. and I asked for fan questions, and then someone said something like, "Whoa, yeah, actually, no, I think, but it's quite a stupid question, lah. <laughs> why you never ask? Uh, why you never help Space Dola fund his channel? Something like that. That was the question. Hadid. No, they asked Hadik. No, they uh, they send in question to me. Okay, okay, and asked that. Okay, so I didn't know who is Space Dola, so Ooh, I went and checked you out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't even know that you're his brother. Yeah, okay. even after like. A, a month later, only I found out. Bagus. So he sent that shit. Uh. Uh, in that question, I I uh. didn't ask Said Sadiq the question because uh. we were quite rushed. You should, bro. Podcast. I, you should. I would. I would if I had more time. But <laughs> yeah. I didn't see the link at all because I didn't even know who. Okay. Okay. I just found out who he was. So I, yeah. uh, anyways, what I'm, what I'm saying is I found out your channel, mm. and bro, it's super interesting. Thank all you. All the shit you post, uh, especially the shorts. Yeah, yeah. Right, shorts are more frequent. Correct. You post. Yeah. Um, guys, English channel. It's got Malay channel, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Malay channel has really taken off. Mm. English channel, um, a bit slower, but it's mm. the same content. Same content. Yeah. So mm. Hello Dollar on yes. YouTube, on Instagram. Yep. That's for the English content. Yeah. Space Dollar for Ma- Malay. Similar you, yeah. And we've got True Dollar as well. Yeah, yeah. What's the difference between True Dollar? This is Dollar. I like I like the brand, and um, I I was like, you know, I gotta find a name that is easy for people to pronounce when they meet me in public. So yeah. I was like, ah, huh, let's let's try Space Dollar, and then it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? That's a good question. We should ask Sadik. Sadik, bro. Yeah. Why didn't you fund me when I first started, yeah. huh, bitch? <laughs> bro, something, yeah. something so interesting. This uh, Sayid was talking about, uh. right? and I'm sure all you definitely know this, lah. Uh. I had no fucking idea mm. that politicians on in government and mm. opposition. Mm. So politician in government and mm. opposition, what uh, are their role? Both mm. is the same, lah. They need mm. to get votes in order to to win or retain their position in government mm. and how do they get votes they want mm. to win the hearts of the people mm. by helping the people mm. how do you help the people you would of course need a lot of money lah, mm. right but the difference is the opposition politicians get zero funding mm. whereas the politicians in government get um, a hefty fu- mm. a hefty amount lah. they just mm. get a big amount so mm. I found that like so surprising man and mm. now you know your brother's not in government so that's why he does all these events and all to mm. raise funds and everything mm. yeah um, yeah, I was just I was just thinking of of that and why he never why why say your brother didn't fund you um, yeah why not I think I have a logical answer behind it uh, <laughs> yeah because uh, I always look back so when I first started um, social media let let me clear things up when I first started three and a half years ago I was a complete bum I was you will never find a lazier man than me I was the worst of the worst I was a bum and um, I remember. Three years ago, Tr- you started. I started three years ago, yeah. Okay. And I remember writing a proposal. I'm like, yeah, I don't want money. I just want equipment. I want a nice laptop, computer, nice microphone. A proposal to who? To Sadiq. Yeah. You, so you, it was like 14,000 ringgit. Worth of, 14,000 ringgit is nothing to him, bro. He was a, he was a politician. So you, you wrote a proposal. To him. Is that another way of saying WhatsApp texting? Uh, He's too busy, bro. Okay. He's too busy to meet his This brother. is like info coming out, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Bro, stop the recording. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, National Mama on the 19th of October. <laughs> yeah. no, no, we, we'll do that later. We'll do later, that. later, later, later. <laughs> it's Timo, Timo. Um, so yeah, I did a proposal. I, I, I met him and I was like, hey, I need, I need 14,000 ringgit. I don't want money. I just want equipment. Uh, of course. <laughs> money. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, yeah. And then five months later, nothing. So I was like, this motherfucker. So uh, instead of wasting time, um, I made a move. I, I really believed in myself for some reason. And um, I was like, shit, I had no other option. I hated my life. I hated my job. I hated my What past. was your job back then? Three I years ago. Working at a cloud kitchen doing sales. Cloud kitchen? Cloud kitchen. Cloud kitchen. Yeah. What is a cloud kitchen? Uh, it's like a place where they have a lot of kitchens inside. And they rent out a kitchen that's fully equipped. It's like a co-working space, like, but yes. it's a kitchen. Okay, yes. yeah. Like uh, yes. office co-working space, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. got you. Yes. And they have full integration with like Grab and all this shit. Lah. Mm. And I was doing sales and I remember my old boss, he, he was really the, the person that made me realize, fuck you. Uh, he he cussed at me in front of everyone in the office. Indian, Chinese, Malay? 
I'm not gonna <laughs> okay, not gonna specify line, line. tapi biar dia terasa kalau dia dengar mm. uh, he cast at me in front of everyone in the office and I was like wow can you specify those the words <laughs> bad words lah and it was in front of so many people and I felt so humiliated so I knew I, I couldn't do this forever Yeah? And I was the only salesman in the company. I was bringing. I was the only revenue bringer in the company. So this motherfucker didn't even appreciate me. So then I, during that phase, I was like, you know, I'm going to do YouTube and I'm going to succeed no matter what. I'm going to figure it out. What, what, what was the breaking point? Was it gradual? Was it a, a diff, multiple occasions that build up to it, or was it one drop like just hit you really hard that you're okay? Um, I'm going to do it the next day. I had a. Um, Let's call it a spiritual journey mm. that caused me to do uh, social media, mm. to to be a content creator. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, but I remember when I was in this trip, there were two phases, two things that happened in my life. One, it was a complete darkness, and I remember walking towards this light, and then suddenly a hand took me, and it was my dad. I was an infant coming out my mom's vagina. And my dad azan to me, and then another on the same day of the same incident, another time, again complete darkness, and I was just sitting on my sofa, complete darkness. I was walking, and it was a forest, and I could feel the mist and the rain from the forest. And then while I was walking down that path, I saw two versions of me: one who was a mess up, a fuck up. He looked destroyed, no teeth. He looks disgusting. And the homeless, version, yeah. yeah, looks homeless lah. Mm-hmm. And another version of me, he was smiling. He didn't look rich. But bro, he had the biggest smile in the world. Mm. So I went to him and I talked to him, and then uh, this version of me said to me, said to me, "Do YouTube, do YouTube for seven years, and you can change the world." So I was aroused and I was so interested. Why aroused. seven years? Yeah, why seven years? Where did that timeline come from? And remember, before that, uh, I didn't know shit about content. Nothing. I knew nothing about editing, nothing about storytelling, nothing about making videos. But talking to that other version of me really gave me a reason to do something. Now, after I woke up from the incident, it didn't happen overnight. Mm. Um, but I slowly said no to the bad shit. I slowly said no to the things that were destroying mm. my life. The gradual. Yeah, gradual. And I slowly was like, "How do I edit? Go to YouTube, learn how to edit videos." Well, I have to, I have to ask her. What what were the things that you? What do you mean by the things that were destroying your life? I did a lot of. Bad things in my life. I did a lot of destructive things in my life that self-destructive, self-destructive. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That is just. Yeah, I think I have a rough idea. Yeah, shameful lah. Mm. Uh, I I would not suggest anyone to go down that path, mm. but that path made me who I am today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, definitely. Mm. Um, they usually say that you have to hit rock bottom mm. for you to actually make a big change and yeah. I've actually talked to um, this psychiatrist who did the podcast um, mm. she's been doing it for 30 years mm. and she even could casually just joke about her when she's treating her patient, patients mm. right they do therapy sessions and mm. you know sometimes it's a very slow progress because mm. you can't actually force a person to change right mm. you have to speak when you're when you're being being a therapist or mm. right a psychologist you speak with them you get them to understand why they would want to make a change or what it is inside of them um, that's stopping them from making these changes then she would actually casually make a joke and say sometimes i just wish they just hit rock bottom straight away lah mm. just quickly go hit rock bottom mm. so that they can make a change yes, correct. which is this, it is true correct you become creative lah when you're at the rock bottom yeah. And um, I started off YouTube with only a thousand three hundred ringgit. I think the only thing I bought was a wireless microphone. I edit, shoot everything using my phone in the first stages of doing it. But I did it. If I did not take that first step of actually starting, I wouldn't be where I am today. So people complicate this whole social media thing. They always say it's hard. Let me let me tell you the truth. It is not fucking hard. It it's is, not, bro. It is the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people are just. They they want to say it's hard because they want to give them reason to not do shit. Don't be like me, giving a hundred and fucking ten reasons to not start. Don't have money. Don't have connection. No one want to help. You don't start. How the fuck do you know what you can or cannot do if you don't start? You don't. What? Why? First of all, why do you need connection when you are you have this platform? Because I was Sadik's brother. I was a bum. I mm. thought that because he was in politics, I could get leverage. That you could have a shorter yes. shortcut. Yes, I was the typical. So you wanted the shortcut. I wanted the shortcut. I I remember approaching him when he was uh, minister. I was like, "Hey, uh, one of our uh, 
one of the person I was working with is like, oh, you can make millions. Just give him this proposal and get me to sign. And then when I went to meet him, I was like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Now looking back yeah. at what your brother said to you. Mm. Best thing he did. Yeah. Right. Best thing he did. Bro, you, yeah. it's like that saying, la, you give a man a, a fish, mm. he will live for a day. You teach yeah. a man to fish, yeah. He'll live forever. That yeah. was the best Not forever, thing. love. He'll die eventually. Uh, however. <laughs> however. <laughs> okay. There's a big however. However. <laughs> because of how I felt so alone when I first started, now I am going to be better than him, bigger than him. But why? 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 why does this, where does this stem from? Is it um, spite, jealousy, com- a competition? siblings you should have healthy competition mm. you should it, it drives you to to push yourself and be better um, if you have a sibling or a brother or sister and they are more successful and you're not really pushing yourself to be like why is this guy successful and I'm not and you're not doing something about it <clears throat> then you're, you're you're losing out on a great opportunity so when I first started because of no help from him now I'm like okay all right motherfucker Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, let's be honest. I'm sure he's really happy for you. I'm sure. I'm sure he is. I'm sure. See, we, we don't believe in... A, we don't agree in a lot of things, mm. but we love each other. He's so happy. He's so happy. What do you say? What do you say? He's so happy. He's so happy. He's so happy. He's so happy. <laughs> they can pay like sikit. The least oh, one. <laughs> I think... I think... Okay, one thing. I've been on three podcasts. Most of the time, it's just me explaining jokes to him. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm slow, okay? I'm slow. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. But you, you get that. He's, he's so happy you get it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do get it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just... It's other statement, bro. Because he's going to get up. Oh, no. And he's looking at us like, what the fuck? I do not want to... I don't want to participate in this criticism or oh. insult, you know, of oh. a, a politician, a oh. former sports minister. It's okay that I can I, say it. Uh. Of course you I can. I love you, Sadiq, but fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, so know. fuck you, dude. Okay. No, <laughs> I, I, cool, I, I feel left out. I want to be cool too. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Sadiq. <laughs> I, I'm applying for permit. Don't do anything. Uh. <laughs> Just a quick question, Lon. Did you ever... Were you ever interested in politics? Yes. Uh, when I first came back to Malaysia, I thought it was a shortcut to be rich. Sorry, when money. when was this? This was like four years ago. Four, five years ago. Five years ago. I was working okay. in Emirates. Oh, you really just came back four, four years no, ago? Yeah, four, five years ago. Five, six years ago. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. okay. Came back during the time when he was a politician and he was a minister. I was like, ah, oh. because like in Malaysia, having a sibling or a family member in politics, if you look at other politician family members, like, Usually all of them fucking corrupted. Right? Not all. There are some that are good. Huh? Yeah. But not all. But there are some. Kau jangan nak terasa politik politician lain. I have to say it. Huh? My uncle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Sadiq wasn't like that. And I thought it was a quick way to make a quick buck. Um, but yeah, I realised it was completely different. We may not agree in a lot of things. Uh. One thing about, one thing I respect about this guy. Dude is just fucking honest. Terlalu lurus bendul. He needs to fucking chill. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um. You're you're saying that he's super serious, uh, serious Lurus Bandola. Super yeah. serious. <laughs> serious. What what is Lurus Bento? Straight. Okay. Straight Lurus Bandola is like straight. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Straight. yeah he yeah. is, bro. He's, um. He seems like someone who is super hardworking, mm. super focused, mm. and driven, lah. Uh, in, yeah, yeah. in what he's what he's doing. If he wasn't Lurus Bandola, I'd be rich, bro. You think I'd be doing yeah. YouTube? Mm. Yeah. You think I'd be doing Grab? When I first started doing YouTube, I quit the job. I was doing Grab. Pagi sampai petang Grab Malam Shoot edit video mm-hmm. And um, I did grab For like 8-9 months Every day While I'm making my content For YouTube Something Tell me something interesting You learned from that man Doing grab um, I actually loved it I actually wanted to do grab Yeah too, I actually man. loved it bro Because yeah. I was free I didn't have a boss To talk to mm. uh, Whatever time I put in To work Is whatever money I make And then I had my time To uh, be a content creator So I feel like It was super valuable Being a grab driver Mm. And then having a being a content creator, I I wanted to do Grab mm. as well when I'm just starting out because I thought the exact same things as you, man. Mm. I work whenever I I want, mm. whenever I I can, mm. right? And another thing is also because I spent eight years in Melbourne, dude. I came back here in 2020. I thought that okay, I'm so detached from Malaysian people. Okay, mm. um, I have my my circle of friends is not exactly the Malaysian, the mm. like m- what most Malaysian people are, right? Mm. It's the bangsa bubble, is what people would 
refer to that as a. Mm. Uh, so I thought doing grab right, it's a great way to actually just speak to people and it is. learn. You it know, is. like understand, man. Like there's these people living di- different mm. lives, uh. mm. Yeah. Um, there was a a, a reason uh, that I mm. didn't. I uh, loved end it. Up doing I don't know about yeah. s- other people, but I fucking loved it. Yeah. I love doing grab more. Then when I was working for this cloud kitchen, not that I don't appreciate the job. No shit. But I was free. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. FYI, guys, Ashraf is a part-time taxi driver, Hell so yeah, he hates brother. Grab drivers. Oh like, shit! So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad for you. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, are you serious? Kami, uh, kami pemandu taxi. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lebih baik. Uh. Join the dark side, lah, bro. <laughs> Join the kita, grab. Kita just nak kata kita ada buat grab lah dekat, oh, uh, on the side lah. Yeah. Bro, are you uh, really doing Grab? Uh, sorry, <laughs> taxi part-time? Huh? Are you really doing taxi? <laughs> no. No lah. Bro, aku ingat serious. <laughs> Sumpah aku ingat no, serious. No, because like, bro. a lot of your people, I mean, a lot. <laughs> tak, dia tengah stereotype, bro. Yeah. <laughs> dia tengah stereotype. Yeah, that's where I was Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dia yeah, yeah, yeah. stereotype. I know, I thought the stereotype was perfect, so I thought oh. it made sense. Uh, yeah, bro, yeah, I yeah, fell yeah. for it. I fell for it. Yeah, 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 but you know. Put your foot in any po- sort of politics? Yes. Yeah, what happened, bro? Um, I I think I joined Amno for. You six think? Ma- uh? Yeah, I know. I think I did. I joined <laughs> Amno for six months, um, purely for the reason of thinking I wanted to make money, uh, and then I realized I hated it. How how? Um, slow down a bit, man. How? What happens when you join Amno? How do you join Amno? I don't know. I was just surrounded by Amno people. I'm not saying all of them are bad. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I was surrounded by certain Amno people, and they were like, "Oh, you know, you should join. You you should join us together." I'm like, "Yeah, let's do it." And um, um, and I did. And after a while joining, I was like, "Oh, there's so much hatred. Like they have this against their rivals." Ah, uh, and I I couldn't do it. I just felt like this hypocrisy of you have to just play a role in front of people, lying in front mm. of me, lying. I can't do it. This is also why I, I I'm baffled at how Sadiq's able to do politics. It's mm. just you can't be yourself. And not only yeah, you you can't you can't. You cannot. Yeah. And. Never mind the the politicians that are um okay so people so much hate for your brother right mm. because he's got into uh, trouble with the court case or whatever mm. right whether he's is true or not they should hate him you know why yeah you know why they should hate why? him because he's the best uh, let me tell you right now uh, despite everything we don't agree with together and we don't agree almost ninety nine percent of things he is one hella of a hardworking person. Bro, you hear the way mm. he speaks and all. Not yeah. not the way he speaks. The the things that he speaks. Mm. You you can't just mm. say shit like you. You have to study for yeah, that yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Um. Yeah. So so much uh, people t- like throwing hate at sudding and all. Mm. And for me, right, I'm looking at it as, you know. I have no rights to criticize anything because guess what, he has done so much more mm. for, uh, this country than I have or probably ever will. Mm. Right. I I not someone that's able to criticize. But why any do you of this. say that, bro? Why? Why do you feel that uh, he's a better person? Yeah. Why do you say that? Okay, I'll tell you why. Because the job of being a politician, you have to you actually have to put your interests in helping like the country. I feel like I'm too selfish for that, man. But what have you ever helped people by the side of the street? Have you ever done? Of something? course. So what yeah. if that person turned out to be an amazing character after that one help? How do you know the value that you brought in people's life? I don't. I would love to know, bro. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's you're, no you're, way for you to know. There's no way. God will never reveal everything to you mm. um, on that spot. But for you to have the assumption, you cannot say that. You 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 have changed just by doing a podcast, mm. letting people listen to you, communicate, share your inputs and thought. Mm. Some people may not like it, but mm. the people that like it, you're changing their lives. Yeah. yeah. So you may not feel in the grand scheme of things that you're doing much change, mm. but you are. Uh, uh, um, I. I hope so. I mean, it is true. Like, like I was at a wedding recently, mm. and they talked about his mm. podcast. Was it Indian wedding? Yeah, um, uh, Indian Muslim wedding. Yeah, like Indian wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a relative's wedding. <laughs> yeah, which which is rare. Like, like Mama people don't give a mm-hmm. damn about the real world. One thing mm. I'm I'm happy lah. Okay, is that the audience is actually. My audience is so mixed. Mm. It's really very mixed. I feel like it's actually 30, 30, 30. Mm. Even though our population, dem- our demographics in Malaysia is not 30, 30, 30. Yeah. Mm. I feel like my audience from just rough estimating, I think uh, it's 30, 30, 30. So your audience mostly Malaysia? It's all Malaysian, bro. Oh, mm. So when you're doing, for, for me, right, 
if I'm doing English content, uh. I'm not someone who who is uh, providing um, educating, right? Mm. Like like yourself lah, your mm. content. I feel like it's damn hard to get an audience from a, another country lah. You're not doing uh, it correctly. Join spacedollar.com. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, yes. whatever content you make, you can tap the right audience. Space Dola Basam Layu, 87% Indonesian. Hmm. Space Dola English, 71% American. Fucking American like Space this. Space Dola English is 71%. 71% American. I think that's why your content, that mm. that shit, remember I told you just now, it, it's the stuff that I will watch because mm. I consume mostly mm. American content. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, okay, I yeah. understand. So it's not, am I unique? Do mm. I put a certain IP code and all this shit? No. No. It's just... Emulating. Yeah, I, I like to manipulate social media. I love manipulating social media. Mm. Oh, I love that shit. Yeah, so I... I I found a way to manipulate the social media and this is what we we try to teach mm. with my course. You should come and join us, bro. Oh, okay, tell me tell me about this um space dollar space dollar dot, dot com. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be honest, right? Mm. First first thing uh I, I do when I see your your course, I mm. think, oh, it's just like any other mm. uh course online. Everybody's trying to be a master at something mm. or be a teacher, online guru. Uh. Mm. Um although I think your course is so different than mm. life coaches are, Correct. right because your course is quite straightforward mm. what you're actually trying to help out people mm. with your service mm. yeah talk about it man i think what makes my course different is two things one i don't bullshit i don't lie to my students telling i don't i know everything i never do that if i don't know something i say hey listen i don't know another thing that i think is powerful about my course and why people love it is how direct i am with how to make content so, for example, I'll give you one thing why Space Dollar, um, our course is successful, is when I tell people, okay, you want to start making content. Now, I always start with, why do you want to make content? Do you want money or power? You can't have both at a short period of time. If you want money, there are money-based content that purely are making money. You don't need to build character. Power-based is like me, lah, power-based content where you build influence in character. After people have decided that, you know, I tell them, which is no content creator in Malaysia does. Sorry, sorry can you uh, elaborate more on power? So power is, you are power. I'm power-based content. Okay, Means I, we don't get RPM like gila mat. We're not Aisa Khalid level or we don't get millions of views. We don't get millions of subscribers. Like uh, so that you need money-based content. So they are, they are money-based content creator and power-based content creator. Money-based content creator, you can make money very quick. Mm-hmm. But you don't have character. People you don't know you. Yeah. yeah. People yeah. don't know you outside, you know? Yeah. So I, I didn't want that. After they've decided that, I tell them, okay, let me let me tell you something that uh, I teach my students, which I can promise you, no Malaysia content creator teach in Malaysia because they're too fucking poor. Mm-hmm. They don't want to say this. So I say to them, All right, now you've decided you want what money or power based, I want you to do this thing. I want you to find three content creators that you like. All right, just three. I want you to watch their content and ask yourself, can I do the same thing or not? Can I do the same thing? When you watch a video, I want you to ask yourself, can I do the same thing or not? I'll and pretend to, I'll role play as, your, as, yes. your, as someone who is si- uh, uh, who's interested in spacedollar.com. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. So yeah, you, you're saying to me to emulate three uh, people that I like yes. and I'm interested in watching. Yes. And my response is, you ask, can I emulate that? Mm. My response is, I don't think I can. How would I? I have no idea how to, first of all, I don't know how to, to edit videos Mm. perfect then I'm going to tell you learn Mm. stop being lazy people they want something but they want everything quick Mm -hmm. shit don't happen overnight so what I want you to do once you find this three content creator is I want you to look at their top 30 videos and then you copy dorang bullet bullet Mm -hmm. why why most Malaysia content creator poor yo tak nak kasih tiru oh, tiru kau tak original fuck you man what you wear nothing original about you don't act like you fucking create the world okay your baju your shirt your jeans nothing is original so the reason why I ask you to tiru them and I allow my students to tiru me bulat bulat I have five students who tiru bulat bulat how I act how I shoot how I edit here's why because kita yang nak buat content lama we know how to hold audience retention we know the secret to social media FYP or viral content is that you have to make sure the audience are watching 60% of the content. If At they least. don't yes. If they don't watch 60%, tak FYP, tak viral. So if you if you manage to keep them hooked and watch your content mm. to 60%, FYP. So I tell them, if Malaysia content creator Poyo, Tanak Kasi Tiru, Tiru Mak Saleh. So when I did when I first started, I tiru this one guy number the Astro Kobe. Tiru bulat bulat. Tiru bulat bulat. Tiru skrip, tiru cara lakonan, 
tiru cara buat content. I tiru until I think 30, 31 videos and then I realise something. Slowly, I realise what I like, what I don't like. And I slowly change the character, change the storytelling bit. Then I understand how to make script. Then I understand how to 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 shoot and make videos and everything. And then I build my own character. Tiru is the fastest way. So, sort of like when you tell people that Tiru, right? It's sort of like telling someone that, oh, there's a shortcut. You just Tiru. Exactly. But the main point is, mm. it's just getting it started. Yeah. It and it works. Yeah. You cannot. You cannot tell me it doesn't work. It fucking works. Yeah. So. I'm just telling my students what works, make it better, yeah. make it better. So something that I think also is so important, right? Is mm. bro, you can you can be consistent, but it and, and it can take you months and months, and mm. you don't see anything happen. How was the growth for your channel, like? So for Space Dollar by Samlayu, I didn't start with Space Dollar. I started with True Dollar, which I started off with. Uh, reaction videos I saw KSI uh-huh. and I was like oh you know what I want to try to do yeah, the same yeah, shit yeah. PewDiePie yeah, yeah PewDiePie and all that uh, so I did reaction and gaming 47 videos all videos not even 300 views oh. a lot of people when they reach they they edit their videos 10-15 minutes no views after 47 minutes they yeah. fucking quit bro they don't even reach 47 they quit already yeah 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 no really yeah. they don't yeah yeah true 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 because they they think they want what am I doing with my life uh, my yeah, friends are all yeah, 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 my yeah, friends yeah. are all leveling up and then I'm yeah. wasting time doing this blah 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 and then my parents are saying like what are you doing wasting your time blah blah blah, blah. Yeah. Gen Z I tell yeah, you yeah. Betul, betul, betul. Yeah, yeah. They, they like to compare themselves with big players yeah. you are only in a race with yourself fuck everyone else yeah. nobody should say whatever they want to say about you it's just you and you alone yeah. in this world and uh, I want to ask so you say after 47 videos that's mm. when you s- quit to Kanish Okay, mm. huh. so you changed something. That's why you you grew. Yes, but also you kept in mind that I can't stop. I yes. keep going. Correct. And because you knew that you cannot stop. Correct. That's why you had to change something. Correct. Because I yeah. didn't have an option. Yeah. I didn't have right, my job. Right. I was broke. Um, I I didn't enjoy it. I was leaving my parents' place. I didn't like it, and I was like, you know what? I have to do something in my life. So then I tried education, and even when I did education, my channel didn't explode after 87 videos. What, what sort of education you're talking about? The right shots, now, the, the shots, yeah. After 87 videos, only did it explode. I remember Snapchat. posting, yeah. Posting. Uh, and, sorry, how often would you post that? I did it every day. So 87 days, ah? Huh? Yeah, 87 days every day. Balik grab. So my ex girlfriend left me. Hello, Jess. My ex girlfriend left me. You fucking s- <laughs> it's okay. lovely person. Yes. It's okay. It's hey, okay. Fuck off. She, she taught me a lot. She taught me a lot. She taught me the importance of money, Che. Oh. Um, but yeah, so um, I did grab, balik grab, buat content, buat content, buat content. And uh, for 87 videos, and then suddenly, one day I got one ultra viral after I posted 87 video. I think it was a 14th or 15th video. Um, after 14, posting 87 videos, I was at 5,000 subscriber. One day I woke up, opened my YouTube studio, 78,000 subscribers overnight. I was like, what the fuck is going on? No, 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 no. Yeah. I want to know your your real exact reaction. Was mm. that your real exact reaction? Bro, I was shocked. I was trembling. I was like, oh my gosh, this is it? <laughs> yeah. This is it? Yeah, I was It's trembling. It's fucking bro. it, bro. Yeah, this is it. I was like, oh shit, I figured it out. <laughs> And I just kept on going. Were you surprised or did you think was it's about fucking time? I was shocked. Okay. I was just shocked. I was shocked, excited, and I felt like, oh fuck, it's... It's happening. The dream is real. It's coming true. We made it, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, oh, here's another thing about uh, being a content creator. That high that you get, we call that social media dopamine. That high that you get don't last forever. Yeah. Social media growth, ah, uh, is not like this. It's like this. Yeah. So you get your high, you get dip again. Even till now, making content, I still get dips. Mm, yeah. This is where a lot of people quit. So. Because they're so used to the social media dopamine mm. that when they get the dip, they quit. Something I also realized, right, and I'm also learning the emotions that come with how well your post does, right, real or TikTok or YouTube shorts or whatever that I post, right. Mm. If the post is going well, my mood is good, and mm. if the post, like let's say for three four days in a, in a row, it didn't hit good numbers, right, mm. and it hit way less than usual, mm. I can. Tell that actually is my mood is not good, and then yes. after a while, I I realize like you, you you cannot even you cannot give a fuck. Just keep going, correct. Keep going, don't stop. Correct. Um, a good thing about posting every day is you get you get a chance to 
It's like it's like throwing throwing a dice right every time you you, mm. you post the video. Mm. Uh, you you won't know Correct. whether it's gonna do good or Correct. bad. Correct. And sometimes it does well after months or even years, especially for YouTube. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sometimes I post a content, it don't explode now, but it explodes later. This is what we call evergreen content. Yeah. So sometimes let's say I make a video about lipas specifically this month no one's giving a shit about lipas and then another uh, nine mm. months later suddenly people are searching high keyword of lipas what was that the li- explode no no the, the one i did was a reaction video of small to big in space uh in in in, in astronomy and that one was the one that exploded and that gave me like seventy five thousand subs and i was like ah okay and i kept going and, and it's the the like you said um was that the indonesian audience that one uh no that was malaysia after when I kept on going and then I slowly uh, received more Indonesian audience after yeah. that. The market is so fucking big. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Indonesia yeah. is mad, bro. And Indonesians are very supportive. Malaysians, they don't like to support Malaysia content creator unless you're big. Okay. Mm. Bro, I, I don't know, man. I see so much. I, I don't know. Or may, maybe it's my audience or maybe it's the audience in Malaysia in general. Sometimes we're not even talking about anything to do with race. Mm. And they'll just throw it in, you know. They'll just start arguing over race. Like, what the fuck? Mm. Yeah, it's... Do, do you... I mean, for your videos, right? Mm. It because it's educative. You mm. don't actually see the. the, the oh, I get shit. it a lot. Oh, you still get. Uh, it? People say me, I Asian Yahudi, cafe, ini orang bukan Islam, all this shit. But um, yeah, whatever, man. You can say whatever you want. You're not paying my bills. Yeah. Has that ever affected you? Um, when I first started, I didn't understand it, but now after doing it for a while, I realize. Motherfucker, you saying this shit, but you're still watching my content. Thank you, bitch. Why? Why do people do that, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it's just to start something, <laughs> lah. Yeah. It's bots. It's all bots. Uh, what is this? I, I don't. Th- I think that's actually. Bot, I I would like to think it's bots because mm. it's easier to explain their existence. But I think there's actually some people that just they just want to get your reaction, man. Mm. They mm. want you to reply to them actually. Mm. Yeah, and it's. It's, it's quite weird that they keep watching mm. after yeah. that. Yeah, mm. I, I, I don't get that mm. shit, man. Biarkan. Biarkan orang nak cakap apa, bro. Yeah. We, we are here to change the world. Le, 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 let me ask you, like, do you think... I was just thinking about this just now, right? Every business that you... Um, every business that operates now, right? Mm. Uh, not sure every, la, but a lot, most of them, mm. they would need to have a presence on social media or mm. a platform like YouTube. Mm. Do you think it's going to be probably sooner rather than later that they start teaching this in just our school systems. Yes. I think it's inevitable, 100%. bro. 100%. Because when you go out and work for a company, mm. first thing they want, they, they would want is, do you have experience in, you know, how to edit or whatever? Mm. That's a very, yeah. uh, it's a very common thing that mm. uh, a company would want also, a common skill that they, mm. will, they would want also. Mm. Yeah, so I was thinking that. I want you to think about this. Mm. Let's say you guys are a big company and, uh, let, let me tell you why I feel like this social media manager company, a marketing specialist company are all going to die one day. Uh, if you own, let's say, a big company and um, you you want to hire people who, to manage your social media, mm. do you hire people, social media managers who don't have the numbers to prove it or content creators who know how to make the content have millions of views? Which one do you hire? The people who know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. Fucking, ah. a, fucking A, bro. It's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's like having, um, you hear this in, uh, I, I heard uh, Joe Rogan talking with his comedy buddies uh, about, you know, when they're on uh, SNL, right? Mm. SNL, that skit show. They do comedy sketches. And then you've got producers, you know, people working with the producers. They're trying to tell the comedians, mm. right? How to be funny and change this and that. Mm. But motherfucker, you're working as a, you know, assistant to the, Film mm. producer, mm. you don't do comedy, but you're teaching me how to do comedy. Yeah. So it's like, like similar to what you say, uh, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, the marketing specialist is trying to teach the influencer, mm. hey man, um, this is what you should do. You should do that. Uh, well, that's a bunch of bullshit. Uh. Y- you gotta love what you do, bro. I think that's yeah. the most important part of whatever it is. A lot of people don't. Yeah. yeah. If you don't love what you do, then you cannot blame people if you're living a miserable life. Yeah. 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 Another another problem yeah. in Malaysia. Another big problem is everybody who does something, and I am also one of those persons who made this mistake before, everybody who does something, especially because of how quick social media is, you don't like something, you fucking swipe away. We are so used to, we see orang berjaya, we want it quick. That's why we, we fucking jump onto Bitcoin, into uh, all this stuff, because we want quick result. Fucking nothing happened quick, man. Nothing I more. made this mistake too. I always thought, I see Sadiq, oh, motherfucker, why he... 
tone and, semua and, with him but I don't see the hard work that he put in years before uh, and, so and if if lah it does happen quick right who's mm. to say that it's not also through uh, luck mm. right, like the content it, creator zaman covid lah Sorry? Like content creators zaman COVID. A lot yeah, of them yeah, yeah. die already. Yeah. yeah. A lot die already. Okay. Content creators zaman COVID. Yeah. They they exploded yeah. because everybody was indoors. Yeah, yeah. And then when suddenly they don't get the views, they're like, oh, am I not valid so anymore? Time to get a real job. Uh, yeah. So they quit. But yeah. also, right, when people say like you have to do do what you love, or even when I say that, right, mm. I feel this thing inside me where I don't like to say it because I know a lot of people, I feel like there's a lot of people that really don't have the option to mm. do what they love. Mm. A, a lot also. Um, not, I, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's much harder said lah than done. Why do you say done. that? Uh, well, I'm. I have to compare to myself lah. Mm. Myself, I'm not someone that's uh, come from very hard background. Mm. So, I know that there are a lot of people that they they really don't have a fucking choice, man, mm. to actually do what they they hate. Um, then you can tell them, okay, fine, you do what you fucking hate to mm. get by, mm. and in the meantime, you work on something that. You're truly passionate about. Mm. That's mm. always the argument. Mm. Um, in conclusion, you have to be super hardworking, lah. Yes. To to be able to find that path yes. to do what you. Yeah. You yeah. have to be willing to sacrifice the hateful things mm. for a chance that they might be an opportunity mm. yeah. that from what you do, what you love, it can turn into like a real yeah. thing, and then you can like fuck your the thing that yeah, you hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, a lot of people are not willing to go through that sacrifice. Yeah, the they safe- want it quick and fast and everything yeah. in line with what they think doesn't work like that one. The safety net. You gotta uh. really mm. want it. Mm. Yeah. It's like when I did the Indonesia documentary. I don't know if you guys seen it, but whoa. Oh, bro! I yeah. I saw I, I know, no I saw a bit and uh. I thought I'm gonna talk to you about it. You should. I'm not gonna watch the video. You should, bro. I'm not, I skipped that. I skipped. It's I skipped, skipped. mind blowing. Okay, so it's tell me. Mind blowing. So this is a super viral video. Mm. Um, you talked about it. Um, it had big hits when you did mm-hmm. uh Yusuf podcast, yes. which is Yukas. Mm. Um, more to the Malay audience, mm. right? But. I mean, so tell me lah, what, what happened when you went to Indonesia? So, uh, I, I was doing my content in my bedroom the whole time and um, I saw Mat Saleh doing it and I was like, oh my God, so interesting and it's, a, it's our neighboring country only. And then I was like, you know what, I gotta give this a try. So I wrote down a proposal and everything and... Um, you wrote to who? Uh, to a lot of companies. A lot of companies. And that time I didn't have any experience with documentaries. But I already had the numbers on social media. I think I was like 170,000 subscribers or something. And then TikTok was like 300,000. So I have the numbers already. So they were not that hesitant to invest the amount of money. And I needed 14,300 ringgit and I got it. Almost the same. For the whole trip? For the whole trip. Editing, everything. For the whole trip. Um, What's the allowance? I didn't pay myself. Huh? I didn't pay myself. No, no. I I say like, did they they also give you allowance on top of the... No, no, no. Oh, no. What I asked was just purely to bring me and my friend oh. to shoot the video, to pay the tape. Because when you do all this documentary, you better yeah. fucking give tape to them, you know. Yeah. They're not going to allow you to fucking leave the dead bodies and stuff without giving tape. Yeah. So we, we, how I made myself, because when I see Mak Saleh, boy, mm. it's typical. Mak Saleh, they just, oh, you know, these, these dead bodies, these, they do this. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to join in. Mm. So I, I kau tim dengan the ketua kampung. We paid him uh, uh, not much. How did you um, get a hold of this guy? Our tour guide. You can call him with a tour guide first. Everything you call him in Malaysia. Uh, in Malaysia through yeah, WhatsApp. Okay. So I tell them, I give them videos of what I want to do there. Can yeah. we do this? So yeah. I show them videos of I want to do this. I don't want to just shoot the video. And I want to join in. Sorry, the tour guide is a local Indonesian. Local, local, local awesome. Torajan. Okay. Did you you communicate with him in English, right? I am in Basa. Okay, in, uh, he's speaking Indo speaking or Basa. Uh, Indo Basa about same same lah. Okay, uh. okay, okay. So then I told him I want to do this. I want to do this. And then when I went there, he brought us to meet the family. Mm. So this family specifically in that that week, they were going to take out the dead bodies, and then they were going to change the clothes of the dead bodies. So I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. So what, what what is it? I so from what I saw in the video. Dead bodies dressed up. I don't know how long the bodies have been preserved. Mm. Were they even preserved? Why do they do that? So they believe that when you die, if you don't sembelih, who is se- they? The family, the family members. It's just that particular. Yeah, family they're Christians. Huh? They're Christians. So they believe that when you die, um, if you don't kill seventeen kerbau, um, the dead will not be considered dead, and they will not go to puya. Puya is like heaven or like the afterlife. So until you sembelih the kerbau, then only you can go to the afterlife. The problem with this sembelih kerbau thing is you can only start 
saving the money for the sembelih ceremony once that person die so when you mm. die you're in debt Ah. Oh, okay. So interesting. So the reason why the cops are like buto buto cops and they are sitting around by the chair, in the bed, like they give food, give cigarette, ah, uh, is because they don't consider them dead. Wait, wait. Did you say give cigarette? Yo, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they nice. were they were given a cigarette and then talking to them and everything. A lot of wasted cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> take it off. Uh, and uh, yeah, so when we went there, we I was sleeping in a cave with I was in a cave with eight hundred dead bodies. Mm. And then um, you will see me changing the clothes of the dead bodies, lifting them up. They were like 15 kilograms only. Uh, first thing I've got to ask, man, mm. how's the scent? Amazing. Not there was. It smells like mud, like preserve. Like, the preserve yeah. Oh, it like, smells like, like mud. It's not a rotting, nope, rotting nope, smell. No, no rotting What's smell. It, do you nothing. know what they do to make it? According to them, they put some chemical on the body to cause. It's like mummify. Mm. Yeah. Like, okay. like is it like natural? Uh, natural. Natural. Uh, natural, natural it's like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like it becomes Egypt, so like. dry that the, the fluid from the body is just out and uh, your okay. like 15 kilogram only but I could lift them with like my own one hand only oh. eh. how so there were all sorts of bodies from like uh, kids uh, yeah kids adults, yeah. to an old age person yeah. dying so I was lifting the bodies here and there I was mm. like oh my gosh so cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it is fucking cool man yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, bro d- who uh, sorry So is there an on average how long these bodies stay there before they bury Until them? Until you can assemble the kerbau. Yeah, but all 15. Yeah, and the kerbau is fucking expensive, 17. Oh. It's expensive. You need to have like a the kerbau need to have a white spot on it like or have spots on it. So hey. this is like a light to have to puya yeah. to heaven. Right. That's And a hard mission, man. Yeah, it's but a hard are mission. these family members rich? No. Uh, no. Oh, the problem is if you're not rich, then the bodies will be preserved for years. Exactly. If they are rich, mati boleh terus sembelih kerbau. Would you almost yeah. say? Would you almost say that some of the family members they they gave up on the mission? Yes, they cannot afford it. Mm. Mm, okay, so it. the bodies just stay there. Just stay in the house, sitting with them, eating together with them. What, what is the name of the these people? Torajans. Torajans. Toraja. Are they sort of? Um, they're also like tribals. Is it tribes? I wouldn't say tribe. They're Christians and everything, but. They have such a beautiful culture, so unique, so beautiful. Christian? Are they Chinese or Indo? Indo? All, all, all type of Christian. Okay, mm. all type of. Yeah, this is this is where I learn, religion, all culture, different, different one. I mean, you don't see Christians doing that over here, mm. but over there they have this beautiful belief. They they have this sense of love to the dead. Over mm. here, death is like so taboo, you know. Mm. Over there, death is so beautiful. Mm. They celebrate death, mm. and um, before I went there, I was so. I was still taboo of like dead bodies, but then after coming back, I was like, "Huh, death is just a part of life. You shouldn't be afraid." I guess of. it helps so that they don't they don't have a rotting odor. Yeah, they, they yeah. definitely don't believe in ghosts, lah, for sure, lah, bro. I was hoping to see ghosts actually. Oh, they don't mm. believe the ghosts. Definitely not, lah, bro. Oh, if you're okay. living the dead bodies, I, I have a question actually. Like, yeah. like it, it, they preserve the body. Mm. Let's say after they assemble the tujuh belas kerbau, and then then they put it in a cave. There's like a oh that the cave that you cave. entered is yes. is all the ah, so you watch the video. Yeah, yeah. So that oh. they put it in the cave and then that's where all the dead bodies are at. Uh. Do they cover it ever or they just put it there? Even though they put it in the cave, every two three years they still take it up. To Tukar clean. baju letak balik. Yeah. Oh. Until jadi tulang atau tulang, they still oh. clean it. They do not forget about the dead. Okay, what was the oldest dead body that you saw there? Ah, a hundred sixty years old. And how was the condition? It was just skull and like bones and raw bones. Uh, as long as they are living, they have to keep. They have to do this. Preserving, preserve. Yeah. So okay. it's this, the skull one was still to yep. cover juice. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, so I know what you're thinking. Like what size uh, excess? Uh, yeah, probably excess lah. Uh, probably no more, no like, more. Yeah. Or maybe just let the cayenne on top of it. Mm. But they still do. They still take it out. They still. What if the leg, care? the bottom torso already fell out? Doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 All over different countries, religions, all different culture. Mm, mm. It's so different over there, bro. Mm. Yeah. Um. Let, let, talk about the the Muslims in Indonesia also mm. are very different. Correct. I went. Uh, yeah. What you were saying? No. No. Please continue. No. No. I I went to to China. Uh, Xinjiang, mm. right? Which is West China. Mm. The people over there were mostly Uyghur Muslims. Mm. Yeah. Uyghur, which is spelled U Y G H U R. 
it so- seems like Uyghur, but mm. it's Uyghur. They call them Uyghur. Yeah, but with these Uyghur Muslim, they were mostly in the western part of China, which is um, this. I think it's a it's a city or a state like, I don't know mm. what they call it in China. It's called Xinjiang. Yeah. I think twenty thirty years ago is mostly Uyghur Muslims, and then the Chinese government um, they sent a lot of their their Chinese people. They call them Han Chinese. It's one sort of Chinese people. They look mm. like me mm. Yeah, they send them over there, and then they um, Western media has a very bad view of it mm. um, it might be their propaganda they, mm. they they say that they are colonizing the people over there and mm. they are living in um, living in they even use the term genocide over there mm. I can't comment much on that because I know that there there is cases of um, what do they call it they send them to concentration camps mm. but also it would it's probably because um, there was some sort of extreme uh, e- extremism going on that mm. they did that sort of thing. Those are the fucking politicians. Huh? Uh, yes. So when I was there, I didn't see any of that. If you go on YouTube right, or, and mm. you hear people, anyone from America talk about Uyghur people, mm. they think that the, the people there are just, they're, they're living in hell like mm. that. I went over there and I mean, of course, everyone's just happy and living their lives. Mm. So... I guess a way to judge it is their country 20 years before, okay, and um, this is just the whole China in general, but also that part, uh, right, mm-hmm. has rapidly um, developed, mm-hmm. right? So whether the people are happy or not, um, I guess you judge that on the f- on how well their economy is doing mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it, it seems like they're doing much, much better. But mm-hmm. yeah, um, it's, it's interesting. They, they've got moss over there. The mm-hmm. moss, the architectural design mm-hmm. is very Beautiful. Chinese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's different. You know, um, they, it, it doesn't look like the, the moss over here. It's mm-hmm. just different. Mm-hmm. They pray five times a day. Mm-hmm. Um, not, tr- not sure how, um, how s- uh, strict they are. I, I know that they're more open with uh, uh, dogs. There's a lot of dogs walking around. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't. They can't own dogs as well. They can't. Mm. But um, their response to to dogs everywhere Very different is, it's not a problem yeah. not to them. Mm. They mind. They mind yeah. their own business. Very similar to Turkey. I mm. went to Turkey. Mm. I was surprised. Mm. You know that um, they would go near dogs and all. They don't have to touch them. If mm. the dogs is just ne- next to them, it's mm. it's like a bird lah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's I don't know why Malaysian Muslim make a big deal yeah. of dogs. To be honest, it's just it's just so cute propaganda lah. Yeah. It's just like over. Re- like you know putting the religion mm. like sometimes i feel like politicians use religion to control people yeah sometimes uh, so i 24/7 i, seven, I feel that like all the time like, it's a force it's, force force. religion is one of the oldest businesses it's in the like world. they are so dumb that they cannot be smart to teach and hold people that they have to use religion to yeah. to yeah. keep people like that yeah. to me that just shows how dumb you are you know, if you have to use religion to control people, you're dumb. Because religion is supposed to be that person and God. Yeah. Yeah. Not you following what the politician thinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a part of the reason why I'm not the biggest fan of politics. I don't like the idea of why are we giving humans so much power to decide who lives and who dies. Yeah. If there is a hell, which there is, the first person to go into po- hell is the politicians. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> because what Not if, your brother though. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. What if, what if they, they, they say, okay, you can gantong and then you tak salah. Yeah. Siapa yang salah? Who's wrong? The, the people creating the rules, right? So why are we giving so much power to people? Why mm. do we do that? Yeah. And why are we giving so much respect to the politician and kings? No worries. I love you, king. But why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Why? So should, shouldn't we give more respect to our parents and our God? Why is it about showing to the world you have to look like this or talk like this? I feel like people are fucking up religion so much. Religion should be about you and God, nothing else. You don't have to look like everyone, talk like everyone, just you and God alone. But it seems like the world that we live in now, if you are even 1% different, you're an outcast. Yes. Why? When you say the world, do you mean Malaysia? The world, the world, the world. I mean, the like, world. Yeah, it yeah, happens world. everywhere. Everywhere. India is worse yeah, than everywhere. religious authority. Everywhere. Everywhere. It's yeah. not authority, but yeah. you know, it's in politics. In Hindu, yeah. is it? Yeah. yeah. Like, like no, the. I have no idea, man. Yeah, it's crazy, man. That I mean, like here also, la, Like, like what you said. Yeah, religion is between you and God. Exactly. You so, don't even need to show yeah. to people one. What? 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 So I I hear two different school of thoughts. Ah, uh. I'm not a Muslim. Okay. Mm. In fact, I'm. I'm like uh, agnostic, okay, mm. agnostic mm. Uh, atheist. Mm. So, 
No, I think agnostic or atheist is two very different things, bro. Very different. Ag- oh. Means agnostic, you believe yeah. there is a God, but you just don't know which is the okay, God. Okay, let me explain. You la. believe there is a God. Okay, I'll just uh, quickly explain la, what mm. I think. Yeah. Um, I grew up, I always thought um, I'm atheist mm. because you you believe in evolution. Mm. Yeah. And then when you get older, I, I feel like, what the fuck fuck I know about evolution? Mm. You know, um, I've not done enough, uh, nearly enough uh, studying or, uh, to, to know. And to be um, agnostic is to say that you don't know. You have no exactly. fucking idea. Exactly. So I'm most definitely agnostic, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I have no fucking idea. I have an agno- uh, agnostic joke. Mm. Agnostic. No, no, agnostic. But do you know about this other religion, agnostic? Oh, I said they it before. They only celebrate Christmas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a religion? No, it's not. Oh. It's a joke. Eggnog. Uh, you know what's that? Eggnog stick. But we ha-ha-ha, can you lah? Eggnog, eggnog. No, I got the joke. <laughs> he, got the, he got the joke. Wait, did you, you get it? it? I didn't get it. Eggnog. <laughs> you know what's eggnog? I don't know. Bro, I don't celebrate Christmas. How am I supposed to know? No, I don't no, celebrate no, Christmas too. It's a, it's a I drink. don't know that dish. Yeah. Oh, that's why I didn't get it. You yeah. want to know a, a celebration, right? I don't drink also, but you yeah. know, it's in pop culture. Yeah. Yeah, so, sure. so halal, like. Yes, yes. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, bro, you... <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you I want to ask. This guy. I want to ask. I want to ask. Why? Why atheism? Why, why, why did you... Why did you... I grew up thinking like that. Like, But where is the logic yeah. to say that there is no God? Oh, I don't know that too. Ah. I can't say that there's no God. Mm. So that's it's, right. yeah. it's illogical to say that there is no God. Yeah. I respect whatever religion you are. Uh, uh, I, I'm Muslim, but I respect whatever religion you want to believe yeah. in. But to say that there is no God mm. baffles me. Yeah. So we, if evolution is real, okay, we came from apes. Just mm. to clear things out, we came from apes. We came from the ocean. Um, we evolved from the ocean to being on land, to being apes. But here's the beauty about evolution. Can I clear, clear this off first? Please. Re- religion, right? I think even Christian or Muslim, they mm. all believe in evolution as well, right? Mm. I, Just I, to a certain extent. Yeah, to a certain it? extent, I guess, okay. yeah. But he- here's the beauty about it. From apes to intelligence, yeah. that, that, that timeline cannot be answered. Mm. Neanderthals ah, to so, right so. after that. You cannot consider just because a fucking guy holding a batu hammer yeah. intelligence. Yeah. I'm talking about intelligence. Yeah. So that stage of eight men to intelligence cannot be answered. Yeah. Where did that come from? No yeah. scientist can answer this. Yeah. And if if uh if there is no God, fine. What came before the Big Bang? What yeah. s- caused the spark of the Big Bang? Yeah. T- tell me about the Big Bang, man. All I know is, uh, boom, <laughs> and uh, our universe began. Yes. Uh, so the Big Bang is a theory, a science theory that states out that um, everything started from an explosion of intense heat and power. Yeah. Uh, we don't know what caused it. Um, however, there are many theories behind it. Mm. Uh, one of the most interesting theory. Can I just share you one point that will make it blow all your minds? Blow all your minds. I just, I just want to remind all our audience and both of all of you guys here on how tiny you are in the vastness of the universe and how you are not important. Human beings, we like to believe that we are the center of the universe. We like to believe that we are special. We are not special. Yeah. We are nowhere close to special. Not, not yeah. only human beings mm. in general. If you go down to a more individualistic mm. level, mm. myself, mm. yourself, mm. a lot of people think that they are player one, man. Yeah. It's okay. That's fine. I, I think mean, that's a positive yeah. thing, but yeah. it's yeah. in fact, in reality, I think it's far from it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, human civilization itself, yeah. we want to believe we are special. Yeah. Politicians, kings, they, we want to be, bl- yeah. we want to say we are special. Yeah. We are unique. We are not unique, my friends. Yeah. Mm. So I always say to people, you want to you wanna think about this, think about it like this. You know when you look at the sky and you see the sun, yeah. right? The sun is fucking massive. Uh. Mm. Now, you know when you look at stars, there are millions and billions and billions of stars. Do you know what stars are? Stars sun. are suns. suns. Just billions of light years away. Mm. Now, in our galaxy alone, in our galaxy, let's call it our kampong, so our audience is easier to understand. Mm, in our okay, kampong okay, alone, okay. Uh, in our kampong, there are more than 1.8 billion suns. You think in between those suns got no? In our kampong, are you talking about our Milky galaxy? Way. In, uh, Milky Milky way, way uh, uh, there's 1.8 billion stars. Billion stars. 
Okay. With a B. <laughs> Billion stars. And in between those stars, you really think there's no other planets? Yeah. We can see we can see some of it as well. The other yeah. planets. Now, this is just our fucking kampong. Our kampong. Yeah. In the observable universe. And I've seen with the telescope myself, and let me tell you, I cried. When I saw the Andromeda galaxy, our neighbor mm-hmm. kampong, I cried. It was the most beautiful thing in the world. In the observable universe, with the technology that we can see, only with the technology that we have, there are more than 2 trillion kampong. Mm. If you count every grain of sand on Earth, there are still more planets out there. Do you see, in wow. between those planets, do you see the kings? Do you see the politicians? Do you see the content creators or the celebrities? No. Yeah. So why, why do we like to believe that we are special? We are nothing. It humbles me every time when I think about it. So every time I look at this, these people who oh, respect me, fuck you lah. Yeah. I hate it. With politicians, I never call them Sir Tan Sri, fuck the you man. Too, yeah. Uncle, fuck you. Uncle, is fuck right. I never do that. People call me Tuan, never do that. Uh, I never, I hate it. To be in that line of work, to, to, to be... To want to have that desire to want a title on your name, right? I already feel like you have to be someone who's who really prioritizes having yeah. power yeah. over people or your status is very, very important to yourself. Because they believe they are special. And not yeah. everyone thinks like that, yeah. you know. But in the vastness of the universe, yeah. you are nothing. Yeah. Who are you to tell me I have to bow to you or listen to you? I only bow to Allah. I do not bow to no king, no human, no politician, no respect, no disrespect to you, king. But I bow to no one. Oh, shit. Who are you to tell me to bow to you? You're just a human like every... You shit, and you die. Yeah. Do not play the role of you are the creator. You are not the creator. In between all those planets, you think they give a shit about us? So, so, so um, you would definitely believe in other life forms so aliens yes what, what about what what do you know of i was watching some video uh, where they say that they found life on mars they so mars used to be like earth there used to be oceans and rivers can, can, can i just clarify mars so we are third from the sun yes mars is fourth i think fourth uh, fourth yeah correct, correct. But the neighboring yeah, planet uh, yeah, yeah. Na- one of our neighboring planet but even so it, it will still take us six months to go there if mm. if the angle of the mm. orbit is correct oh elon Musk is working on that yes we should we should, if we don't branch out human civilization, then all the border of politicians like in America, fucking killing each other. Yeah. Thank God Malaysia, we're not at that level. Yeah. But all these border people, fucking all they do is kill each other. Yeah. So if we don't branch out humanity to different planet, we are fucked. Because one day, one idiot politician is going to press a bomb nuke. GG. Yeah. What can we do? Yeah. So yes. we need to do this. Now, when it comes to alien life, why have we not found aliens? And okay, yeah. Mm. What? Why? Because uh? they're scared of us, lah. Okay, good Every theory. Time. Good theory. Yeah. What? Why do you think we've not found aliens? Okay, um, I would say that because they're probably in planets much further away. Okay. Right. Okay. I think we have. It's just really, really like classifiers. So yeah. That's mm. what I think. Classify. Okay. Okay. I mean, like no one really talks about it. Mm. Talking about Area Fifty One. I, I yeah. actually have a scientific. Please tell uh, me. So because we are, uh, sorry, we are nitrogen mm. based. Mm. Uh, like uh, our main mm. uh, element is nitrogen. Mm. Oxygen. Uh, no, no, oxygen is what we breathe. Like mm. we I need oxygen. Uh, mm. So nitrogen, like we are nitrogen based. Mm. Uh, eh, not nitrogen, carbon based. Mm. Carbon based. <laughs> why did I say nitrogen? Ca- mm. Carbon based mm. uh, beings, mm. right? What if? they like the other life forms mm. are of different elements correct, mm. correct. Uh, so mm. it's not visible to our eyes mm. or to our technology that we have mm-hmm. it's beyond like like you said we are but a grain of sand yes. in this vast universe, universe or yeah. multiverse we never mm. know how far right? can we yeah. see through a telescope uh, only till the observable universe yeah. there's a reason why we cannot see further that yeah. it's like god intentionally put a barrier yeah. Can you tell me to uh, to what extent? It's how far observable. light can reach us. Okay. That is the observable universe. There will be a point because we are constantly expanding, heading towards the great attractor. 
we don't know what is the great attractor. We call it the great attractor, but we don't know what the fuck it is. But we are moving towards the Which is the, the edge attractor. of the observable I don't universe. Know. Nobody knows. Mm. Nobody knows. It might be bigger than the observable universe. Observable universe is just what we can observe, yeah, yeah. but there's probably much, much more than that. How, how far can we observe, actually? The the most faintest of light lah, to reach us. Yeah. The most fainted of... You you are actually watching back in back to the future. So if you are looking at our our neighboring star yeah. system, the Andromeda, yes, you are looking eighty thousand years behind. Yeah. If you go there, you are then it's eighty thousand years in the future. Yeah, the light took took eighty thousand years to reach us. Reach us. Oh. Hence why they called light light yes. years. Light years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then and then what? Um, that just makes what Ashraf just said even much more of a possibility. Yeah. That what they say? They don't even have the sense or the 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 sense of sight to even look to even recognize Correct. our element yeah. or something like Correct. that. We don't know, man. There are many theories behind um, why we've not found aliens. One of the most logical one, logical one is this. If I ask you mm. to go to the ocean and look for one fish and one specific fish and that fish name is Abu, only Abu, in the vastness of the ocean, can you find Abu? Fucking uh, so hard. The, the space is bigger than fucking ocean. Much bigger. Another thing is, if aliens have found us, if aliens know we exist, of if aliens play a role in our evolution, why would they talk to us? We are stupider than baboons. When you go to the zoo, do you talk to the baboons? Do you say, hey baboon, do you want to play Clash of Clans with me? Uh, am, I, am I stupid if I do that? I'm just saying, do you go... T- I, I do. I actually, <laughs> I actually talk to most of them. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. The answer would be yes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't usually reply. You are, you are very rare breed, yeah. my friend. Okay. Hey, yeah, you're no, very rare breed. Like, right? You're not stupid. Yeah. You know, okay. right? But you understand my point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go yeah, to understand. the zoo, do you talk to the baboons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Because the baboons are not at the level of intelligence we are. Okay, fine. I think a, a easier way to put it, if you look at the ants, you talk at exactly. Talk to ants. You don't talk to ants. Yeah, because ants are so much more tinier. Correct. Right now, if aliens exist, there's a theory called the zoo theory. Yeah. They know we exist, but we are too stupid to be bothered. Yeah. Oh, fighting like idiots. Let them fight. Primitive. They've evolved so much that if they if they do exist, it will not be like the movies where they come and destroy Earth. Yeah. They have the technology to destroy us in a second if they want uh, to. They are nuking universes instead of nuking planets. Yeah, why would they do that? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. So the zoo theory states that they know we exist. They look at us, but they are just they can't be bothered to yeah. to even talk to us because we're just so stupid. We we have not reached that level of intelligence yeah. of light travel and all this stuff. Another theory, which is even more scarier, is what we call the Great Filter Theory. The Great Filter Theory states that the reason why we've not found intelligent life is because intelligent life can only evolve to a certain extent that no intelligent life in the galaxy has passed that. Because mm. if we cap- can pass that, why? There's no Star Wars. There's mm. no spaceships. Why? Mm. That means there is a Great Filter, the Great Barrier. Nah. It could be AI. It could be whatnot. It could be anything. Mm. But there is something that no intelligent life can pass. Yeah. Uh, in Islam, we call that Hari Kiamat. Yes. Uh, so in other religion, is a lot of different things. What was uh, his translation in English? Hari Kiamat. Uh, the Armageddon. Armageddon. Oh, yeah, judgment, yeah, 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 no, judgment, judgment Day. Day. Armageddon is the war. Judgment Day. Judgment Day. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. yeah. The Day of Reckoning. Day of yeah, Reckoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now it could be what? It could be anything. We do not know. But clearly, that might be the reason. But I don't yeah. want to believe that, lah. But do you? Did you by any chance listen to Bob Lazar? Yes. Yeah. So. He's, I, I listened to him on uh, Joe Rogan and he's a dude that was really popular in the 80s was mm. it 80s or 70s mm. yeah and his his whole story about um, how he used to work in this lab mm. right run by the government mm. um, in is it within Area 51 mm. yeah but um, he used to work there and then he came up and be- become this uh, what, what do you call this um, like a a whistleblower like he just mm. exposed to the public everything mm. and then he 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 laid low for quite a long time because he was getting harassed heavily by um the the government uh people and all, and then a few years back when he came out and do more uh, media. The government is doing the right thing. Why, why do you say so? The government is doing the right thing. If the government knows aliens exist, they should not tell us. Yeah, we are too primitive to be prepared for that. We are yeah. too we are not ready. 
to know that we that they are alien civilization because if aliens exist yeah. what's going to happen to religion yeah not 80% of the religion in this world 80% uh, of the religion in this world don't believe in aliens believe that we are special yeah. we are if they are intelligent life yeah wouldn't that make religion collapse yeah. oh i i didn't realize that that mm. there are still cultures in the world that mm. think that the earth is flat one mm. and like they that are? the sun revolves around mm. us around earth what there are uh. cultures that think though yeah yeah, the yeah. Right. so think about it if if a, if a, if if a government knows alien exists they are using religion to control you they would be stupid to tell you oh my god you're right mm. they can't let that they better not Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they better not they lose all their power. They will lose the collapse. Yeah. Government will collapse. But it would be a two-way collapse, though, mm. because like society, mm. uh, like you say, people are mm. stupid. But we are not ready yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are so concerned about killing each other, or you are kafir, uh. you are ni, you are going to hell. We are so concerned on everything else. We are not ready for uh, intelligent life to say, "Hey, I am here." That will fuck everything up because we are still more concerned about you fucking cafe, you this, you going to yeah. hell. You. So we are so concerned all these things that we we forget that we are so fucking tiny. Yeah. We are nothing. So uh. so what do you what do you think? Have you ever seen? Has any of the so called evidence that you've that people have talked about UFOs or uh, what do they call it nowadays? Uh? What's all that of new them word? lie. There are no evidence. You think of so? Aliens all of it is a lie. Uh? All of it is a lie. The first time I ever uh, I ever got into UFOs right I was in primary school and then in the library they had this book called UFOs shit mm. and then they were showing like photos of course it was an American publisher mm. um, foc- uh, what f- they were showing photos of um, in Arizona mm. Area 51 in the desert where they've got like farm houses where their cows were uh, abducted mm. you know um stuff like that and they showed pictures of those aliens you know the typical one mm. um, and then there's also the question why do we even think aliens look like that mm. right yeah so all those photos everything and why is why is alien only in America yeah they always attack America. exactly why fucking America yeah, only yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, so uh, there has been so called sightings like in bro but there's some crazy shit man I don't know what this thing called but it wasn't in America mm. I think it was in South America somewhere mm. the whole sky mm. like Uh, I don't know how, like there were some sort of lights and like uh, big big lights and like in the night time mm. and it seems like a massive spaceship okay mm. and there's a video of it mm. have you seen that before? It's I've seen a lot of videos but you think that's all fake? no or? I think it's all fake I think it's all fake yeah. if aliens exist uh-huh. I would be surprised if they want to introduce themselves to us yeah. they would not do that they would enjoy the show seeing from far i oh. i feel like if aliens exist they're like us also mm. they i think they are in their world mm. wondering like yeah. mm. what if the like like you say there's a barrier mm. somewhere mm. for them to do that interstellar yep. travel yeah. uh, i think also okay it's like what's the the movie independence day mm. for yeah. us to think that they would illogical they would come down and then you mm. know slowly like greetings we are like yeah. like what 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 the fuck is that? And speaking our language, or you know, if if they came, they would definitely not be here to destroy us. Yeah. It's very illogical. I think the destroying one is a. Like, a movie, yeah. There's no reason. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Again, we think we're damn big. Like, oh, yeah. our gold, <laughs> the alien one, yeah. our diamonds. What the fuck? No, <laughs> nothing. There's diamonds in space. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Carbon, yeah. 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 But it's it's amazing, lah, to know. So so why do you think there are so many so-called witnesses? Because they want to believe so badly that they see it. When it's like those hardcore religious people, lah, they want to believe it so badly mm. that they would make up shit because they want to believe in it. Understand, uh, uh, man. I, I, I actually like, like, I, like to answer your question. I feel like there's more. There's something they're stopping, mm. which is the expanding the 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 things that provoke thought. Mm. Provoke, yeah. You also have to remember, uh, Earth is three point eight billion years old. Earth, three point eight billion years old. Islam wasn't even the first religion. Yeah, there were many religions before that, and we've Who not even gone oldest? far back. Who was the oldest? Do you know what's the oldest? Yeah, I'm not sure, but not Islam, man. That's for sure. No, no, no. Uh, it's Islam back is in like Mesopotamia. Yeah. But there's so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, and how old is it? Some four thousand, is it, or two thousand? Uh, I don't know. What, exactly. I think two thousand. Thousand four hundred something. Yeah. Not not two thousand years old. That's yeah. not even far back. It's not at all, bro. Earth yeah. is three point eight billion, billion years old. How many religion has? A, a rising and fallen. Yeah, I want to believe that Islam is the right one. Yeah, uh, but that's between me and God. Yeah, but the reality of things is, if you look far back, 
<laughs> we are nothing but a speck of yeah. dust. Yeah. And bro, um, do you do you like uh like reading about history? I love it. Mm. So, the history that we all um that most people are so fascinated about uh, mm. Alexander the Great, mm. uh, Genghis Khan, mm. like you said, uh, it's only it's all what do you call it, AD, mm. right? The mm. years AD, just two thousand years ago. Mm. And you want to compare that to billions. Mm, exactly. Yeah. And also when you see scientists talking about how this dinosaur existed how many million years ago mm. from a from a span of this million years ago mm. to that million and years ago. And there are people that don't believe dinosaurs so I yeah. cannot brain that shit. Uh, 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 why? The bones got... Why you don't believe the dinosaur exists? I don't get it. Okay. Okay. Since since we're in this topic, right? Like, let's let's go a bit detail about like what, what our people, like Malaysians bele- believe in, right? So is it like it? People say it's religion, but there is what, what, also. What do they say is religion? No, it's religion. Like uh, the dinosaurs, the exist. reasons lah. Like how come Because dinosaurs existed? They exist say that it all started with Adam and Eve. Yeah, uh. it, they they. So that's why they get it wrong. Humanity oh. started with, with Adam uh, and Eve. Yeah, yeah. The Earth didn't start with Adam and Eve. Even in Islam, we believe that the Earth existed before way that, before right. Adam and Eve. There were other civilizations on mm-hmm. Earth itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and. And like dating back, right? There are things. I think most most people in religion believe that lah. Right? Yeah. Um, humanity started in Adam. Yeah. Because if they did not believe, if they say that dinosaurs are not real, yeah, a lot of people would lose. But a lot of people yeah. don't believe in dinosaurs still. Yeah. What about the bones? The yeah. bones. I don't get it. The I government think they're just like bigger the animals, <laughs> Yeah. They just they I I I really like like there is a theory like based on like Quranic studies, which is like the Earth is actually shrink, shrinking, mm. which is like NASA, NASA actually confirmed it, but mm. you know like the rates are different lah. Mm. I think, yeah. So, like. It I, it kind of makes sense like some like you know like based on religion. But to say dinosaur don't exist. Yeah, it's stupid lah. It's very stupid. How do they say yeah. it's a made up thing when you the bones are there to prove nah. it? What, what do you think about um? Do you read about the bully mammoth clones that they're gonna be? I I I think we will not be we will not reach a stage of like Jurassic Park. Yeah. Um. Maybe, maybe you don't think so? Why idea, why yeah. why not? Because all those preserve uh. Um, fossils, fossils are yeah. stones. Yeah. Okay. Fossils are stones. It's and like there's no life in it at there's all. There's no there's no DNA in it. And the one that you see like fucking Jurassic Park where it's in amber, yeah. and then they fucking inject the amber, take out the blood. Amber is even a worse place to preserve DNA. <laughs> even worse. Yeah. yeah. So you cannot extract the DNA. If you can get the DNA, yeah, you can replicate it. You can um, turn it into a dinosaur, but. We cannot extract the DNA from the past. Like right now, we do. We are able to clone animals. Right? Animals, yes, yeah. because yeah. we can still we can, get yeah. their DNA. Yeah. But dinosaurs, we cannot get anymore. Already. But that would be awesome, right? It would be awesome. Yeah. It would be fucking awesome to have Jurassic. A lot of people would accidentally die. Yeah, also. Yeah. It would be awesome, lah, <laughs> bro. Yeah, I think mankind. We are leading to a future that is both amazing and scary at the same time. Yeah. Because for the first time in human history. Mm. We do not know what's going to happen. Before our great grandparents can have an idea, what's going to look, what's going to look like for the next fifty to hundred years, uh-huh. yeah. they may only be five to ten percent correct, or maybe maybe less. But for the first time in human history, now with AI, yes, we have no clue. So pre- previously, probably they would have um, assume assume that okay, there's going to be more uh, modern and more efficient ways of transport they can mm. think of stuff like that mm. flying and all mm. but then AI we, we do they, not it was they did not cross yeah. the minds mm. back then mm. um, what was the first inspirations are? like you, you watch you watch movies mm, what was the first inspirations for for man it, it started with the computer yeah AI first movie was like Terminator la. that was yeah, like yeah. The really the pinnacle of AI one. Terminator 2 yeah, yeah. yeah Skynet yeah yeah, yeah okay What, do you know much about AI? Like yes, our progress I love, right now? I love AI. Please, please do tell me love more about it. I know that when I watch, when I read news, right? Mm. Just, I love reading about AI. Yeah, it's every day. It's just about open AI, open mm. AI and shit. Mm. So what, what, what is open AI? Uh, open AI is just you prompting the, the, the computer to learn based on what you input it, what you give it. Mm. But that's not the interesting part about AI. The interesting part about AI is once we've reached a certain stage where we don't have to input it to learn, Oh. Now we are still prompting it to learn. Mm. You know, it's not AI has a brain. Self to learning, you're uh, talking about. Now, now it's no more, still not self learning. It's okay. still dependent. Yes, but once we reach AGI, 
artificial general uh, artificial um, general intelligence that's when everything changes that's when you see a leap in technology even now it's going fast you will not be using this i i can cut my finger less than 10 years you're not using this anymore less than 10 years this will be gone you'll be using glasses not those big bulky apple meta glasses but like that glasses computing power in that this will be gone contact lenses no glasses first oh. so <laughs> okay. everybody Blank. will be ah. everybody will be wearing glasses everybody okay uh, Fuck, then comes the second stage of ai uh, what neuralink is doing even mm. fascinating you don't have to study anymore education will be useless no offense to the chego but i'm not not now i'm talking about maybe decades in the future you want to be a pilot upload the information to your brain mm. yeah you you cannot talk I can communicate with you whatever language just by telepathy. It feels like magic. They're already doing it. Um, Neuralink is able to put a chip in someone's brain. This guy can play Counter Strike without touching the keyboard and mouse yeah, already. That was fucking and crazy. And he plays it better than the people playing Counter Strike. Norman Albro. Yeah. Right? yeah. Madness. Madness. So you're just playing using your mind. Your mind. Telepathy. Yeah. And obviously, you play better than. Then fucking your hand and finger lah, yeah. Because you know what you want to yeah. do. Headshot, headshot. Mm. You can yeah. do a cheat code with a thought. Yes. He so yam. <laughs> so he, he was playing against people that are. <laughs> he was yeah. basically hacking yeah. Yeah. Hacking the system lah. Yeah. Now okay. think about it. If we are reaching to that stage. But by the way, I I watched this video. Uh, Monkey was playing. Fort- oh yeah, pong yeah. and all this. Yeah, yeah, playing Fortnite as well. Yeah, yeah. pong they, like gila. They teach they teach a monkey, a yeah. chimpanzee to play. Yeah, yeah. madness. Yeah. Did you watch Chim Crazy? Yes. Oh, you did. I Fuck, did. man. I did. Shit, we we like the same shit. Like, yeah. Tiger King also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I love fasc- that shit. Fascinating, yeah. very fascinating. Would you do it? If Neuralink. I'm a fucking sheep, bro. I would do it too. I'm a sheep, bro. I think no. there'll be a separation of human after that. Yeah. The people that want to stay dumb and the people that want to evolve. It still exists today. What do you call those people? Uh, the, the, uh, what do you call those? They don't use electricity. Oh, uh, 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 Amish. 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 I was going to say hippies, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hippies today are real yeah. different, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I would do it. They're burning men and shit. Mm, I would yeah. do it. Yeah, 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 Amish. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Would I do it? Uh, like I said, man. I, I'm a sheep. Do you want to? Hmm. Do you Do you want to be with that group of people that are progressing and being? Um. You would so called say a superior like, human compared to the people who are, who do not want to. Uh. I don't know. Maybe my my parents wouldn't want. You know, if it's in their lifetime. You know, uh, the I, older people maybe they're more reluctant. I hope. I really, really hope in our lifetime. We we create AGI. I really really what is hope AGI? Uh, uh, artificial general uh, general mm. intelligence. What is that? Huh? You you don't have to prompt it anymore. It learns from yeah the uh, Skynet, uh, Skynet, Skynet but good but good yeah. I really hope we create that soon. So so the question is why why would it want to be good if it's a slave to humans? <sighs> it's you know that's a very very. Yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, we, we have to be nice to it, lah. Yeah. No no no, we got <laughs> we got to give it a set of rules ah. that it cannot. Uh, you, yeah, you cannot. We got to give him like laws. You got, you got like five set of laws. You cannot go against this law. But how? You know, the whole AGI thing is self learning. Self learning, but I feel like what I feel like, mm. like the reasons why humans retaliate, like why, like after a certain level, like you know, why humans go on like revolutions and mm. all that is emotion. Mm. It's more emotion yeah. rather than intelligence. Mm. It's like I oh how come they able control me. Uh, so I think if we deduct that from AI, mm. like the ability to feel emotions, human emotions, mm. then I think it just you know it just maintains on intelligence, it's computing. Bit, that's even more scary. So yeah. if if AI only makes the perfect decisions mm. and so, do not base their yeah. um, their their whatever they do based yeah. on emotion. Then, if I was AI, the first thing I would do is wipe out humanity, mm. because humanity are destroying Maybe the Earth. right emotions. <laughs> then <laughs> the so, right emotions. Okay, unless the AI, uh. right? So what what are we talking about here? The AI, I'm trying I'm trying to imagine a world where the AI mm. finds joy and satisfaction. Mm. But then again, that would cause that would mean that it has it has emotions as well, yeah. right? But I wanted to say that they find emotion and satisfaction, mm. and they're content with in helping our our kind species mm. develop mm. that's what I would think but 
they would have to have emotions. Mm. Yeah. But then they're also doing someone's job, mm. right? Yeah. And do they want to be doing job? And No, that's the thing. You you put AI in a human shell. Mm. Exactly. That's why you tend to think like, would it do it? Like, yeah. would, would it not retaliate? Like, or whatnot? like yeah. I think, like, I'm putting it in a human sort of uh, mindset. That's why yeah. I say that it wouldn't want to yeah. to work for for us. Mm. Yeah. We we are we are creating something more intelligent than us. Mm. What have we learned um, from humanity uh, on human itself? Yeah. Is that we, we are the most intelligent creature and we kill everything that is less intelligent than us. Mm. We eat things that are less intelligent than us. We take advantage of things that are less intelligent than us. It would worry me if we are creating something more intelligent and they look mm. at us, you yeah. motherfucker, you destroying Earth, mm. let me kill you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long ago has um, humans exist? Uh? 100,000 is it? I don't know. What? Yeah, but if you just talk, think about the last pretty much 30 years, uh, that's where things took a insane leap, mm. Mm. you know, um, in in the way how we all go about our, da- our daily lives. Mm. Back then, you know, thousands and thousands of years, okay, then uh, invent the wheel. Um, thousands and thousands of years before fire. Yeah. Um, it's probably most likely going to accelerate only. Much faster, correct? Yeah. Uh, and you were saying 10 years time, we're all wearing glasses. I really, really hope, I pray to God that AI gets so advanced that we cure death. I really want to see. I want. I really want to be a multi-planetary right. species. I don't want to die. I want to see other planets. You want to see other shit. Yeah. Yeah. I really hope we we cure death because even all you people might say what not, but even death should be curable with AI. We should be able to find a solution. It might not be you can make you younger. It might be you can transfer your conscious. It could be a lot of things. It might not actually mean like cure death. Yeah. But, you know. I, I'm in this uh, positive, optimistic mindset right, where I think that, you know how um, the average lifespan of humans have increased, right? Yes, correct. And then I'm thinking like, motherfucker, I ain't going to die at 80. Mm. I'm going to live until at least 150. Yeah, why because... would you want to be old? Yeah. No, but uh, of course, when I'm 150, probably I'm sort of like a 50-year-old person. Mm. You know? mm. That's what I'm hoping. La, okay. Mm. Um, do you all have those, those type of thoughts? Yes. Yes. Yeah, because it just shows that you... You want to be there. You mm. want to see it all happen. Mm. Good. Uh, good question, actually. Like, like for me, like you said, like uh, consciousness transfer. Mm. I feel like death is a consciousness transfer. Mm. So death is like the the plane mm. that we uh, the next plane yeah. mm. So I feel like that. I-, I mean, like we're just moving from this physical body to another but do dimension. You know, do you know what happens when you die? Like, that's the thing. That's what, like, people try to, you know, so that they get to control us mm. in this plane. The reality yeah, is, none of us know. in this room has died. Yeah. You do not know what happens when you die. Yeah. So, if you had, if yeah. you were rich, yeah. and a shit ton of money, and you want to live for a long, longer period yeah. of time, yeah. what do you think this Jeff Bezos and all this are trying to do? Yeah. 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 Right. No shit, right? Yeah, 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 that's the yeah, first yeah, thing yeah, that yeah. they want to yeah. do. They want to you're extend dead, their life. I, I don't know whether it's right to call it ego ego mm. if your ego is that fucking big that mm. you've you're made it to a point in your life or you've made it your life mission to be the mm. richest man and mm. most successful yeah. hard working person in, in the world right mm. you definitely want to be able to yeah. live longer exactly yeah. that's yeah. on top of your list exactly. bro yeah. exactly exactly yeah. Do you yeah. remember the billionaires that went down the the sub submarine mm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, they wanted to find the Titanic they want to building. implode it yeah mm. yeah, yeah. So they, they have a very peaceful death, bro. That was probably one of the most peaceful deaths. Are they know. even dead? Yeah, they're definitely dead. Mm. Oh, they found the bodies? No, are but they saw the wreck already. Yeah. But that's one hell of a peaceful death, bro. That death probably took less than 0.2 seconds. Oh, why? Uh? Oh, it was a... It it's was a pressure. Boom. It's a drop. Explosion. Not so, a drop. No. Not a drop. So what happened? Uh? It imploded. Due to it's the not like exploded. Uh, it uh. imploded. 0.2 seconds with the pressure underwater like that yeah. this is why it's harder to discover the ocean than space but how space th- you can see sorry but what happened to the uh, the ship it just dropped Sh- is it no no it didn't drop yeah. it Summer. imploded and then probably it dropped but, but why did it implode huh? because it's a shit ship yeah. <laughs> it's a shit ship yeah. oh okay, it's like okay. a tin Facebook can Facebook built it yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tin can ship yeah and then so yeah. you you think lah if the mission was had that much that much risk to it, right? Mm. And you've got people who are that fucking rich, mm. right? Well connected, and they've got all the sort of people that mm. should be advising them. Mm. Would they be that stupid? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. 
then then we are down in conspiracy land no? yeah conspiracy land i just feel like they're just bunch of people who could have cured cancer mm-hmm. and then they just put him in like they just have a lot of money bro so what's happening now to gisb Ooh. because that shit was popping for uh, when did it happen uh, about early september mid september they are ashamed to islam they yes. bring bad name to my religion true Uh, yeah. Shame on them. What about the people trying to defend? I cannot blame them for defending because if you were brought up by Abuya yeah. and all this, no, you would yeah, think yeah, that, yeah. that is your reality. No, yeah. I mean people yeah. outside of GSP. They're trying to defend. They don't it. know shit. Yeah. They don't know shit. Then. Was it? Um, no lah. Not not so defending. But then they'll say like you got to be cautious with, uh, um. How you go about um, arresting these people or this whole case, because you don't want to uh, stain the the religion's name. I mean, letting them go about will stain it even more. Yeah, right? I- exactly. Yeah. Um, They're a cult, bro. Yeah, straight up cult. Straight bro. up cult. Yeah. Um. So I heard. I I re- I I saw lah. Okay. Um. On this video online, that was um going through the case. So Abuya died in uh nineties eighty uh eighties I think is it and then. This current form of the Al Al Arkham, which is GISB, mm. was started by the wife actually oh. of Abuya. Yeah, so it it was started of uh by the wife of Abuya. I think not sure whether she's still alive mm. or not, but it's three generations already. Mm. So imagine those people in there. Right? I I just think that they don't know anything other than what is in the mm. GISB life. They don't know nothing. Yeah. They control their phones, mm. right? So, what is your access to knowing things outside? Uh, yeah. Or n- this is why I don't blame the the people in there. They don't. I don't. Know. Yeah. They really don't know. They I, think they are the right. Everyone yeah. else is wrong, but religion yeah. has a tendency of doing that. Yeah. All religion. What religion are you? Hindu. Don't you think I'm wrong? Don't Don't you think Islam is wrong? For as a religion yeah. as a religion he's not religious no like for, to, for your belief ah, for your belief do you think my yeah. belief is wrong oh. it's the same thing islam would say yeah. i think your belief yeah. is wrong yeah. so religion has a tendency so d- them in this gsb they oh. believe they are the right one mm-hmm. they, I, I, uh, they, 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 they they just don't know they believe i, I used it. to think every religion is wrong but i don't know now now i don't know religion, religion know is perfect yeah no knowing religion. and believing are two different things uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. yes knowing and believing, believing is way dangerous mm. yeah. yeah so then the question is right so now we are seeing all these uh, charges given to the people in gisb for how they've uh, probably treated their their children or whatever abuse and all right Is there a, a le- legit question to be asked? Uh, like, are are they should should they be guilty? Uh, because it seems like they're all victims. You know what I mean of this sort of of this cult lah, uh, this brainwashing. Mm. You know, mm. I, what wh- what do you think, man? Then if they are wrong, then all religions should go to prison, uh? Because GSB is the same to me like every other religion. Uh? It's just a set of laws that people think are correct. I cannot blame them. Yeah. I want to say, I I believe they're wrong. Yeah. But I cannot blame them. It's not their fault. Yeah. So we. You're talking about the members. The members mm, and all yeah. the stuff. We cannot, even the higher tier people. Maybe they've been brainwashed from generations before. Yeah. Uh, bro, oh. even let's let's put it this way, like if if it was like that, right? You cannot blame someone for their their what they actually truly believe, which is is what they think is the right thing to do. Mm. Then you cannot even blame Abu mm. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, because Abuya fucking tarnish Abuya name. I call my dad Abuya, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what we call yeah. father. Yeah. Fuck. Is, is that what? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, that's yeah, what we call. What him. culture is it like? Arabic. Oh, is uh, this oh like, really? Oh, mama, like, like, it's mama. Umi. Abuya is Abuya. Yeah. Uh, oh, serious? They fucking tarnish it, bro. <laughs> that, oh, badly, bro. Yeah. 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 Fuck, man. Twenty twenty four. That was the day. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Then I, I I'm sure you're also very interested in in cults. Huh? you watch uh, documentaries on cults. Huh? Yeah. I'm so fascinated by this shit, lah. I always, I always like to think the the fascinating part to me is when that person knows that it's bullshit, yeah. and he's still doing all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think most of these cults, right, the leaders and all, a lot of them, they actually believe it. What do you think you're doing now? Right now, your social media journey. Do you think you're just building a following? A cult. You're building a cult. The only difference is, you're not using to bad things. You're building a cut of positivity, education, teaching. I'm building a cult too, but not 
religion, all this yeah. cult in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, all you don't cults. realize it. You're building a cult. The only difference is those days there was no social media. Now it's much easier to build a cult. Yeah. We are all building a cult. Then we have to go to what is the definition of cult? Yeah, we have to change it a bit. Mm-hmm. So I'm not building a community of like, oh, praise me, I'm God. No, yeah. a healthy cult. Yeah. But it's in a way, mm-hmm. you are getting people, you post video they want to watch. You post video yeah. they don't want to watch. You are the first person they want to watch. So, it's a healthy cult. So I, I assume that, I mean, this is what I, I, I don't know the exact definition of a Politicians? cult. Politicians? Agung, agung kan aku. Ah. Go to the gathering. Whoa! What the fuck is that? Yeah. And you want to talk about JSB, motherfucker? You the same shit. Bro, yeah. bro, I always think, right? I don't know, man. I'm so, so detached from being someone who's able to be at the rally and just yeah. like, ooh, singing their praises, right? That I, I cannot understand. I did that too before and I felt but, but so you, stupid. But you did that never, 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 um, being that's not actually you mm, you were just me. doing what you, you thought you yeah. should be doing at that yes, point yes, in yes, time yes, yes. but there are people that actually are there mm. and they think that they are chanting and worshipping mm. their political leader because mm. they are the best thing mm. for and then they got rules like oh you leave you have to pay all this you have to do this mm. sounds that, like a cult to that me that sounds like a fucking cult to me bitch yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so they want to punish see, hand this, over your wife yeah they want to punish people <laughs> oh. human beings this is why I say we enjoy punishing people but it's okay for you to make the mistake. Uh, this is why I don't like politics. Right. I, don't yeah. like po- I don't like the rules, the system. I fucking hate yeah, it because yeah. we like to tell you this is the right way. Who the fuck are you to tell you what is the yeah. right and wrong way? You got it. Yeah. Bro, uh. so um, Ong Kian Ling was explaining to me like that I didn't even know this man until recently he explained like oh, there's politicians and there's policy makers mm. and then it makes you appreciate more the policy makers right mm. um, someone that, that is actually doing the damn thing and trying to help make better policies they'll do a summer so. you think so yeah, but speaking of policies sorry cut yeah. you off dude like did you guys read up about I think a few days ago it came out like the um, parliament is trying to push like this mufti bill they're trying to give them more powers or say no no not oh. I don't think more power they, this was a few weeks ago is it they they want to lesser power is it Under no no Sultan. they want to put muftis in every in every state um, uh. no not state every department is it oh. like, you're getting mixed up with oh. um, with Jakim or something if I'm not mistaken this oh. is just uh, they're trying to pass this bill uh, where they, they where they give uh, muftis more say or power but I wasn't sure if you guys read it or I didn't Did read, read it enough like to know or well, I, okay. probably I don't like it so I don't listen to it not yeah. Time, yeah. yeah I didn't go into it I just read it so I was yeah. like maybe I thought you guys would know that, but I'll do it well, see you, do you see what they're doing yeah they're setting rules to tell you what they think is right and wrong and if you don't follow their rules you get thrown to prison yeah why who are you? Uh? Exactly. Who are you to tell us how to live our life? Just because you create a system doesn't mean we need to follow it, ma. Yeah. I also can create my own system. Mm. I want to follow. You follow, uh? mm. follow, If I like uh. it, uh. Mm. follow, uh? mm. This this is why I I I don't agree with the JSB, but I also cannot blame them completely. Yeah, maybe some things yeah. they're doing wrong, like the child molesting, whatnot, if it's real. But those people that follow. You are doing the same thing with your politics. People are chanting you. Mm. You are punishing people for leaving them. Yeah. All this stuff. You are no different. So who are you to tell people how to live their life? And Okay, all these people, right? The ones that were not talking about the second, third generation. Because second, third generation, they are already indoctrinated. Mm. That's, they are, that's all they know. Mm. The people that first went in, the first generation, mm. apart from the leader and mm. his probably group of friends, mm. The common is the common um, factors of someone who is vulnerable to a cult, someone who is vulnerable in, at that point in time in their life, mm. and they want something that will help them find meaning, mm. you know, or mm. something that will 
help them find a, find a way uh, to a to sense of belonging be, belonging yes you go find, find meaning yourself don't yeah. listen to people yeah people will tell you what is yeah. the meaning of life and meaning yeah but it's just in the purpose of controlling yeah. you should yeah. be able to find that yourself but, and, and like 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 you said the one of the documentaries yeah so like like there's this Netflix documentary uh, how to become a cult leader mm. uh, oh, what's uh, the name of the uh, uh, how to become a cult leader. No, sorry what was it uh, what was th- what was it about yeah I, I uh, it's so about like cult leaders lah like they they do a oh. case study on cult oh it's not just one cult lah uh, uh, no uh, a bunch of cults also. like it's a bunch of cult leaders uh. Uh, so it, the the way the documentary is written is like a, it's like a guidebook uh. like if you want to be a cult leader this is what you got to do this is what this cult le- leader did wrong ah uh, the playbook uh, yeah. the cult leader playbook yeah so uh, in that they actually they actually say uh, after like studying all this like famous cults that went down is all their followers had one one thing in common most of them, some of them don't even like believe in like what they, they they you know they had doubts about what their leader was doing but what kept them in the cult is a sense of belonging the people who join these cults yeah. are all like outsiders no, people is the, they are afraid to question mm. they it, this is what all cults do perfectly they punish you for questioning They yeah. punish you for being different. Look what happened at 19, you know, 18 something. The 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 person that went to the great church mm. and said that no, we Earth is, we are not the center of the universe. Yeah. We are or, um, orbiting around uh, our sun. Yeah. They put him in prison. Yeah. The the church they put him in prison for yeah. 40 years. Punished him for saying that. For saying that. No, yeah. look, it's not like just it's not just Islam, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. so no, 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 we're not no, just no saying shit, yeah. all religion. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they they do this, they this this is the proper definition of a cult. Yeah. Uh, yet they want to punish people over it. That, that's yeah. using fear, lah. Mm. Yeah. You're a good cult. Damn, you're this smells good. good. Yeah, if you're a good cult, you have a very good control um, system where they cannot escape. So exactly why GSP has control over their phones. And their wives, mm. okay. Better to see their wives. Um, oh, just oh, I. That just cut right there. No, no. I, I had, I had a, I had a brain freeze, and I thought okay. I could fight it, but I just decided to not fight it. You know, sometimes you just, you have to let fight it. Let it freeze. It, but I let it freeze. I was just like, where is he going with this? Okay. <laughs> well, what do they do with the wives? Good question. Thank mm. you. Mm. Yeah, they don't let you see them. No lah, oh, you, like you, 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 okay, actually. Not so bad lah, if you want to see. I, mean, I thought like they oh. share them around or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course they do. Okay, okay. Yeah, but, no shit. But these kind of things, I mean like in Malaysia, it's a big thing, you know, like GISB, this kind of thing happens. Hey, hey bro, yeah. apart from GISB, uh, there's so many other, so many other in cults. Malaysia, in the kampongs all, yeah. they also have smaller cults, uh, mm. right? They could also be using uh, Islam, you know? Mm, yeah. One thing is for sure about a cult and whatever cult it Or is. Or Christianity, sorry. <laughs> a cult can only grow and be considered a cult if it has been established for more than 30 years. Yeah. Nothing below that mm. is powerful enough to yeah. be called a cult. The leader has to be exceptionally so, good at... Uh, it's not just yeah. exceptionally good. He has to sustain the time because yeah. it's the time of creating... You cannot be some shit overnight. It takes yeah. decades. So this is why political party... Uh, like I'm no, it's like so strong. They've been there for 60 years. Yeah, mm. you know, so you can Oof. try to take them, but 60 years is a long time. Mm. You think yeah. it? Um, I don't know. You, if you're an expiring young politician, you think mm. you're going to just step, put your foot in, and then mm. change the mm. whole system, mm. reform RC? Mm. Oh, Sadiq, this is this is the beauty of what Sadiq is doing. He he's not in the politics for the next one two years. He has a 15 20 year plan. This is why politicians should be afraid of him. Mm. He's not thinking now and now. He's in this for the long run. And I think he's doing that very well. Mm. Um, I wish he would work together with his brother. But you know. Who's his brother? Space Dola. <laughs> <laughs> It's true Dola. Bro. Yeah. It's okay. Oh. He, he, he might not see it now. In the future. Okay. Yeah, it's not a it's not a short term game. Ko ko tunggu ngau. Ko tunggu. Ko tunggu. Ko tunggu. Ko ingat ko besar ngai. Now you gonna go viral, bro. <laughs> you start with that. Ah, shit, sadik ko tunggu. Yeah, you wait lah. So uh, this episode show more views. Ah. Huh? But you know. Uh, <laughs> Imagine if it's not. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Say, no matter what, I love him, mm. and I would take a bullet for him. Yeah. But I can assure you, his friends around him. Friends, he undervalues the power of family. I think he, 
when Sadiq joined politic, one thing I realize is he has forgotten himself a bit. He has, but it's expected. I remember there was it's very one, hard not to. Yeah, know. I remember a politician said when 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 a family member joined politics, he now belongs to the people, not the family. Right? Yeah, not the family. But it's sad yeah. because I have so much great memories of him. We were so close, like whoa, we were super close. We did a lot of things together. And honestly, and then, he didn't even join that long ago, man. Yeah, oh, seven and years. he has already changed this much. I love him as a brother. I hate him as a politician. Well, you hate all politicians. I hate to all be politicians. Fair, so fair. Yeah, don't take it personal. Yeah, Saeed, don't take it personally. Sadiq. Yeah. It's just politics. <laughs> yeah. Don't get bro. Nothing personal, just business. Yeah. Um, what's, I think, uh, one of the more fascinating ones, you know Scientology, right? Mm. Yeah, fucking cult leader, L. Ron Hubbard, the guy mm. who created that fucking cult, mm. has the Guinness World Record for the most fictional writings. Mm. <laughs> like, Published, not writing, and published people, books. And some people believe. Uh, like Tom Cruise and all this is mad, they, bro. They don't believe. Do uh. you think really? Tom Cruise believes? I mean, believe. like, they openly oh, say that openly. they're part of Scientology. Hey, Tom no, Cruise, got, uh, Mel people, Gibson. Uh. Hey, you've got people, and there's a big church also for Scientology. Yeah, 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 you've got ambassadors Why do for, they need a church? No, no, but the question to whether Tom Cruise believes it, right? I've um, So I saw, listened to Leah Remini on Joe Rogan's podcast. Leah Remini was on the King, King of Queens, if you remember that sitcom with Kevin James so anyways she was in the cult her whole life she was born into uh. it uh, the cult of Scientology and Joe asked her you know why Why do people like Tom Cruise like, do they actually believe it and she's, she's her answer is the type of power that he gets in Scientology is a different level of power that even Hollywood was not able to to give, give uh, uh, Tom Cruise that he, he couldn't find from Hollywood not maybe it is accessible in Hollywood, like, you know, PDD and uh, Jeffrey Epstein's and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but her answer is because of the type of uh, power and status he has in Scientology, whereby it's li- literally, if you want to put a whack on someone, they c- they would do it for you. Mm. Scientology is fu- fucking powerful. You want to you wanna see how powerful social media is? Yeah. Okay, let's do something right now. Let's do a test right now. Okay. Uh, let me prove to you how powerful and manipulative social media is. Um, so, obviously, for them to understand what we are about to yeah. do right now, this test... They need to watch the full podcast. But do you create shots from your podcast? You're talking about yeah. clickbait shit, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. let's so go, man. Make this Let's into a clip. Like. Yeah. So, this is what we're going to do, mm. all right? Space Dollar hates Said Sadiq. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I want okay. you to ask me... Whether um, you hate Said Sadiq. No, no. That works too, right? Want, fuck? And then I want you to only crop that part. I want you to only crop that part for them to understand the context you need to watch the full podcast. <laughs> no, let's do this. Okay. You are going to ask me... What do you think about Illuminati? And I will say, saya sebahagian daripada Illuminati. Only crop that part, post it, and then that will viral, and then they will watch this podcast and they will understand it's all made up. Let's play with social media. Let me prove to you how powerful social media is. Bro, have you heard of the Illuminati? What do you think about them, man? Sebenarnya, saya sebahagian Illuminati. Saya dah join orang. 10 tahun. Are you serious? I'm a proud member of the Illuminati. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the reactions. <laughs> okay. And then, itu kau buat crowd kecil. Yeah. <laughs> itu lah. Aku tengok. You see, you see, you see. You know, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. what's fucked up? If it works, right? It will work. <laughs> it will if, work. if it works, uh. there's a lot of other people taking a page out of this book, man. People will watch then, you yeah. get the views for the long-form yeah. content. I, I mean, yeah. they're going to yeah. emulate the same yeah. shit also. Minta maaf eh, we are just making this shit up. We just want to prove to people how powerful social media is. Right. I don't know shit about Illuminati. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. It, comes, it comes to a point, right, where I don't even know whether... I'm a member of the Illuminati. But <laughs> nah. It's okay. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> no, uh, it comes to a point where... I don't. I don't know. You. Uh, I feel like even if you say shit, so every time it's people taking stuff out of context. Mm. That's when it gets viral, and mm. mostly where people start getting angry. And that's all the hate, lah. Mm. Does it even matter anymore whether it was taken out of context, as long as you said it? You know what I mean. But we want to help you viral the podcast. Yeah, yeah. sure, bro. It's We're not here me. to support each other. So yeah. to get the podcast viral, that one clip can get a lot of viewers to watch the full video. Mm. They'll be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Space Ola mengaku the Illuminati. Yeah. yeah. And uh, worst case scenario, I ain't getting cancelled as you. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> me also. <laughs> How to get cancelled? We already say it already. 
<laughs> yeah, but I just want to show you to you how you can manipulate the social media. So yeah, we we were just talking. Um, since we are talking about it, right? What about the the dangers of like today's so called journalism, man? So today's so called journalism is mostly. It's going to be clickbait. We're not talking about people on the on the grounds, you know, doing the actual work. A lot of uh, taking things out of context and uh, just trying to get views, you know. And we, big, big media outlets, they're all doing the same shit. What effects do you think that will have, man? I don't know. But um, I would hope that people who decide to go into that field of journalism... Mm would actually do their research lah. Janganlah masuk dalam industri journalism lepas tu just for the cloud. Mm. I mean... So I'm your boss lah and I say, mm. hey man, the numbers ain't looking too good the last week. Mm. I don't care how you get it done lah. Just, just come up with some articles that will get people interested. Mm. So, if you heard that person lah, you, you sort of almost immediately would just fall into the temptation of Cut, taking things out of context. But what am I getting out of that? Satisfy your boss. Then you can suck my dick, huh? Yeah. Well, mm. not that's many also people. satisfying oh. your boss. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, no, that's your boss satisfying you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Maybe your boss too. It's, it's two ways, you know. Yeah. Brain I'm, freeze after yeah. a dick joke. I would, I would never. I would definitely. If I had a boss that asked me to do that, no. Bro, do you mind if I just pee first? Take a piece off. Go lah, bro. La, bro. Yeah, let's just let's just. I, if you pause, go, pause, pause. Being a content creator, you don't need to be good in anything. You just need to do it, and then you become good over time. That's yeah. true. I mean, bro, you. I still have the. I still have the podcast videos from episode one, man. It's all on YouTube. Yeah, it's crazy. You must cringe as fuck watching your first podcast, right? I I watched so many times. I I mean, I'm not cringe already, lah. Yeah. La. yeah. But I remember when I edit first twenty episodes, I did. I hit hearing my voice. Now okay. noon. Yeah. I'm sure you felt the same of also. Course, of course. Yeah, no, it doesn't even doesn't even face me anymore. Mm, mm, I remember my first one, Manjrit Jrit. Shouting, shouting. But that's the beauty about social media, you evolve along the way. You don't know everything on the spot. Do you know much about like what's happening now in Israel, Gaza and right now is uh, Lebanon yes. with Hezbollah and all. Mm. Yeah, what's going on right now, man? Mm, and America's involvement in this whole thing. Mm, it's the Zionist motherfuckers. Yeah. Um this is a clear cut of genocide. Hmm. Um, it's 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 a nice way of calling land grab. They are what they're doing is they are stealing land, but they don't want to say that they're doing it. Yeah. Uh, it's it's genuinely a genocide. If they America and Israel with all the technology, you are telling me you cannot send SWAT or fucking drones to kill one person or a few people. You have to kill forty thousand people. That's a genocide. So, I've I've watched enough uh, Piers Morgan, mm. right, to know the Western propaganda mm. also. Mm. So their defense is, uh, but um, the Hamas and the Hezbollahs they're hiding behind civilians undergrounds, mm. you know, and they've mm-hmm. dug tunnels and blah 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 mm. blah. Yeah. Yeah. So you're telling me yeah. with all their technology. With all the power that they have, all the fucking drones and robots and shit, yeah. and exploding recently. pages. Uh, yeah, more recently the pa- uh, exactly. expo- exploding yeah. pages. They can't do that. Yeah. They have to kill civilians. So you're saying that the the killing of the civilians it's essential for their mission of land dis- grabbing. Di- yeah, and also destroying their society right mm. now, mm. so that it's easier for them to just mm. grab the land. Mm. They yeah. have done one thing and one thing extremely well. They ha- are now officially the most hated country in the world. Israel, mm, yeah, hundred percent. They've done it on bro. themselves. Yeah, you you tell me yeah. what other country is the most hated in the world, and then them, and now they are going to another neighboring country, yeah. Lebanon. Yeah. yeah, and it clearly shows uh, that America, not the not the people, uh, the government, they are not the superpower. The yeah. real superpower is it's Israel. Is, yeah. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, they control. I mean, yeah. uh, they, they take tax money from. You know, just to oh, I want to kill uh, these uh, people. Uh, and why would America bow down to everything? So, yeah. so, uh, so I'm my limit. My knowledge is very limited on this, but I didn't think of it that way because I assumed that all of the weapon supply all is from America. Right? <laughs> is it? They, they, the, the, the storm that's happening in America right now. They give their own people seven hundred fifty dollars, but they are funding this genocide. They give yeah. billions. Uh, so far, a hundred billion has been has been What spent. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. 
What the fuck? What the fuck is uh, right, man? And it's so, not just now, you know. It's been yeah, happening for years. years. Yeah, they have associations for that. Yeah. And if you want to, I mean, if you want to talk about America also invading other countries. Yeah. Like, do, um, do, you, do you know about what happened uh, during the war on terror in uh, Afghanistan? Yeah. Yeah, so this is, I want to know what all of you guys' thoughts were when it first happened. I remember it quite clearly. September 11 mm. 9-11 which happened when I was 7 if I'm mm. uh, 2001 is it? we were primary school yeah so yeah. I was I was 7 I remember we um watching the news in the morning before I went to school and you know my mom was explaining to me you know terrorists attacked the the World Trade Center mm. and obviously you're a kid you have no idea what the fuck is yeah. terrorists but I could see that they are Muslim people mm. so I went went to school and it was a little weird man a 7 mm. year old kid and you feel a bit even a 7 year old kid you can feel a bit of tension with mm. your Malay buddies yeah. but obviously after a few hours I forgot lah yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was evident man I felt that shit then how yeah. about you all man how do you all remember that I was that? too young bro I don't yeah. remember that I was too oh, you young I remember seeing it on the TV or some shit like that okay. but I was too young but yeah. one thing I do know about America the profit of war yeah. yeah the profit of war like Matt Americans want to believe that their taxpayer are the reason why America is 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 a powerful country, yeah. but it's not because of America taxpayer. Yeah. America taxpayer plays a tiny portion in the success of, of America's, America's economy. economy. It's actually how they create war. They make mm. money from war. That's where the real money is at. Yeah. So now that's why they don't give a fuck about the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you're addressing the military uh, yeah. uh, industrial. Yeah. Remember, complex, it's or? not America. It's not Americans. That Americans don't even like what's happening. A small portion of Americans are okay with what's happening in Gaza and all this. And they're stuff. only okay because of the propaganda that's mm. been pushed out, lah. But in yeah. reality, Americans don't like this shit. Yeah. They don't like it. They're I, I, humans as well. I think any human, not any lah, but mm. most humans, we're all very, we're mm. all decent and nice people, mm. and we we are peace loving. Mm. yeah. Um. Then we're back to the whole politicians, you mm. know, doing mm. things for power. It's like what's happening in Israel. Do you do you think the Israeli an Israeli people, kid grows up hating uh, their neighboring countries, or do you think they are brainwashed by their? Uh, brainwashed, yeah. They're brainwashed. Yeah, it's in the education system. Exactly. But bro, you yeah. you think about this, uh, They live with the Arab people in Israel mm. as well. Mm. It's something like how we live with Malay and Chinese mm, people, yeah, yeah. you know. And suddenly, you know, if you're a kid growing up like yeah. that, twenty years later, this shit is happening. Yeah. Yeah, You've but our government did that before. Yeah. We don't have to go far. Okay. For example, like a kid in Terengganu. Yeah, a kid in Terengganu grows up like listening to his politician. Oh, Chinese people are stealing your money. Mm. This kid has never had a Chinese friend. And they're friend. still doing that now. Yeah, they're still doing it now. And when this kid goes out to Cal and he sees like a Chinese businessman, he thinks, oh, this guy is doing business stealing my money. Mm. Same thing with Israeli kids. Correct. They, really? are, they are brought up thinking, this is my land, my God-given land. Yes. And now... These Arabs, they, they learn about Arabs as savages. Mm. They don't have human images of Arabs, you know. Mm. Yeah, so... No, when, no yeah. people grow up being a racist, born a racist. Yeah, yeah. I, I learned, I used to teach in kindergarten. Um, I actually have a s- s- diploma in child education. But mm. that's the one thing I noticed. I thought from 12 months old to 6 to 5 years old... Mm. They don't see color, man, mm. at all, yeah. zero. Because it was in Australia when I was teaching and all colors, all different skin types, they, children do not see color at yeah. all. They have mm. no idea. Mm. So I guess the right thing we should do is fuck you, Zionist government. Yeah. Fuck you for what yeah. you're doing. Al- yeah. Also, Malaysia confuses uh, Jews. No, there are some Jews that are good people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They co- they, 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 I mean, the whole world. Some, it's a lot yeah, of fucking yeah. Jews. You should see the real Jews, you know, the yeah. one with the yeah. freaking hat, bro. They fucking hate what's going on. They I, I, yeah. Yeah, they're damaging yeah. their, their faith. Yeah. They are destroying their belief yeah. because of this Zionist yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, it's not like Jew. I mean, like, also, there's a lot, a lot of, of amazing Jew friends yeah. who are not assholes. Who, who uh, it's not, it's not a Jew. Th- that's mm. why I don't, also, I, I don't like, like, I f- find it like there's so much trouble in calling someone what they actually are, their race, you know, mm, because yeah. it's so easy to be associated with this genocide. It's like, it, it's, it's also. It's sad love for those people because they have no fucking part in it. They're everyday civilians, you know. Uh, but this is a, qu- a question that I'm interested in. What do you think right, is 
I, I know that Netanyahu has a lot of charges and he's going to be out of out of party mm. if the war ends, right? And then go, most likely prison time. But what do you think is actually going on in his mind right now, man? Like, wh- why, why, why is he keeping it going on? I, I don't expect you to know the answer. Just what do you think of? I, I think he had just he has just been brought up surrounded by evil to be able to kill like that without a sense of care okay say Hamas say they fucked up kill a few people but for you to kill without any emotion you must have grown up in a fucked up situation to be able to do that no? you have to be surrounded by evil hate evil and people in very similar positions mm. you know where they are making the the decisions that have big Im- yeah. impact on mm. their societies and it's sort of he must feel he's right that's for sure yeah yeah yeah. the, yeah, the yeah. dude must feel he's right uh. you see yeah. that's the thing you know I wanted to ask like do you think he thinks what he's doing is right yes because if he doesn't right it's quite impossible to mm. do what yeah, he's yeah, doing yeah. right yeah even right. for monetary gains it's yeah. it's beyond human it's compassion it's so hard already. to do yeah. That. yeah he definitely believes he's, he's right huh? no I, I don't know about that you know if it's just for monetary gain right yeah I don't know you it's, know I, it's uh, propaganda is the way he thinks it's the it's his belief yeah again okay. like belief is very dangerous I don't know I feel like I do believe that it's possible that he knows what he's doing is fucked up yeah. but he doesn't want to go to jail. Yeah. He just wants and impossible. He, you How think can so? you kill like that if you don't believe what you're doing is right? Yeah. Impossible. You don't want to go to jail. I, I uh, save your own life, you know. But to take life. Yeah. I, I mean, to I'm saying that life? I think hum- there's humans that really think as selfish as that. Huh? Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, like one more thing about like like what <clears throat> I feel like like what I see on the internet. Like there is a portion of people who are like you know just leave. Like, why are you still fighting and all that? The thing is, like, if Palestine, if Israel wins, this is like a product they can take to another. This is like their, oh, this is my brand of yeah. colonization. Just kill everyone there. Oh, you can do it elsewhere. Yeah, but, uh, so but yeah, so if he gets caught, then we can also hold other dictators around the world, things that we don't know accountable as well so yeah it's we have i mean it's happening everywhere yeah. even with no, this, the rohingyas it's, and it's not yeah. just um, israel, no. israel middle east you know it's yeah. africa it's so. a lot of places yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah it's just that uh, palestine and israel situation has blasted up yeah. through social media Be- and also because of the the, the name of the jews uh, jews always mm. have a, there's um a lot of how do i say uh, a resilient uh, group of people uh, but they created the hate from themselves. It's their own fault. You, how do you want to grow in a in a in, in a planet where you want everybody to hate you? Why do this? Uh, maybe they don't think for the sh- maybe in their head, tapa they hate us for the short period of time. But maybe after fifty, that's sixty they, years, I think that's what mm-hmm. they have to think to mm. keep on carrying out mm. the atrocities that yeah. they are doing la. If not. How can you, right? Bunch of monsters. Yeah. So, right, yeah, I was talking about um, 9-11. After 9-11, that's when they invaded uh, Af- Afghanistan. They went they went over there. And 20 years uh, they were there. And they left three years ago. So, after they left, the Taliban immediately took over the government. This is just three years ago. Mm-hmm. Did you all see the, the video, right? Of You watched uh, the Afghans, the, the, the people over there, the common people... Mm-hmm. They were so because the Taliban were taking over, right? And American troops were re- withdrawing, mm. so they were sending in flights in and out, in and out. They wanted to make this process faster of withdrawing all their troops. So there was videos of the Afghan common people running onto the planes, all trying to s- to push them themselves, you yeah, know, yeah, fighting, yeah. you know, get, on, get on the plane, yeah, get on yeah, the plane, yeah. and they were so desperate that they they. They went onto the wing of the plane yeah, as yeah. the pla- plane the was tires, taking off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, they hung on to it, and of course, eventually, when the plane takes off, they fell down. They fell down from the sky and just died, lah. Mm-hmm. That's how desperate they were, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. The peop- the 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 Afghan people over there now, dude. The Talib Taliban are doing some crazy shit, man. The mm-hmm. girls can't can't go to can't go to secondary school, mm-hmm. and this was just three years ago, man. Mm-hmm. I, I don't understand what logic is that, lah. Mm-hmm. That you yeah. you can't go to secondary school, mm-hmm. yeah. 
I don't know what's going on, like, but <coughs> I'm not going to act like I know. I don't research much about mm. the Taliban. Mm. Um, however, that might be a good documentary to do. Also, a cult. yeah, sure. Hey, Malaysian people would be really interested, man. Mm. Um, that might be a good documentary. Just, to do. just a few weeks ago, a few or last month, there was a new law that was put out by the the Taliban. Women can't speak in public. Can't speak loudly in public. Mm. And at home also. It's like Saudi before, like, You cannot drive mm. and all this stuff. I think it's worse. Uh. Mm. Mm. I'm I, very. I, I drive, of course, cannot. They also cannot, mm. cannot drive. And then I, I watched uh, the documentary. And then you've got people that. Be previously they they it was okay so they they graduated and then how did they graduated they can't work you know there's nothing that they can do the the females are over there mm. yeah it's fucked up uh. hey, Ashraf bro how long you been doing stand up comedy man uh this year four years already four, four years. years already yeah I I remember I was actually there man at Craig House Comedy Club yeah. um the the good old days for comedians yeah. would say right yeah um what was Craig House to you man because the whole Malaysia we have this. The, the the things the thing that comes to mind when people think of crack house is the what's the, her name I don't even remember Alex and uh, Amy, Amy yeah. yes Alex and Amy incident where you know she went on stage with the hijab took off the hijab and thought that I don't know how the fuck she thought that would be funny yeah. funny okay um and it's crazy that Ashraf was you were actually there yeah I oh you w- were there I was the host that night oh, bro yeah, he was I only was in his first few months of uh, comedy two years two, two years, years at right that here. point two years in comedy so yeah uh, this is a little sneak peek lah into the the whole situation did she tell you she was going to do that no so I was the host so like I was briefing them honestly like when I saw her I was happy like oh okay a tudung girl doing stand-up comedy in Malaysia. Yeah, and why wouldn't you? Yeah, like right. I'm like okay, finally, like okay, more diversity, right? Yeah. And she <laughs> she goes up there, she does that and everything, and like in that moment, like I had to be a host lah. So I went up there and immediately, you know, reset the room. Okay. I did a joke. I did what, a joke. What was your your feeling at the moment? Were you scared? I at that moment, okay, at that time, I was trained enough yeah. to handle situations like that okay. but what I wasn't trained is like what to do after <coughs> right mm, after and months. after like uh, are you guys okay if I go into like Please, some go ahead. theory yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I because you know like 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 in that situation lah, like because it was like before the elections and all that yeah so memang it was it was orchestrated lah. Mm. it seemed very orchestrated they came in like six months before Mm. And six Ooh, months wait. before, uh, like, like the the Alex and Amy, they come came in two months before, no, not six months before, <laughs> two months before, like like before the video went viral, it happened, and the video went viral, ngam ngam a day before Hari Raya Haji, mm. and that Hari Raya Haji before elections. Okay, mm. so yeah, so yeah, so what you're trying to say is like Amy and Alex were in on the whole. I not- we don't know, we don't know. It's just like for me, like the the situation. Like like this is just my what I feel. They're right? not. It's just like like much okay. Much, um, okay it, it's could be like what sus. we did, bro, with the Illuminati shit. Yeah, with the Illuminati shit, it's very Illuminati, like very inside deep. Uh, like you know, government, dark government stuff, lah. Mm. But I I personally like just moved on, like moved on with the thing and. It uh, came out like how many days after? Just a few. Uh, the next day is it, 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 the video came out. The video came out like I think a few like a month before it went viral. So. Mm. Yeah, because it was viral by bots. Like, like we did the investigation. Like, we were there. We saw how it went viral. I, I am the admin for Crack House. I'm, I'm still am. <laughs> but you know, like when I, uh, I saw the video go viral. You saw the reposts and everything. Yeah, reposts, people tagging, and me trying to actually block the video from going so, viral. So you saw bot accounts. Tagging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? It was popping up everywhere. Once you report, delete. Suddenly out of nowhere Username all empty Okay No, what, no profile photos What do you uh, Concluded that Okay this is a bot account No profile fo- No nothing in their profile New account Suddenly only got one video Repost that, that video lah Okay Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a bot man Yeah yeah, yeah. That's a, it's, a, it's a bot lah It's like I mean like I'm in social media I mean like I mean I mean like Social media marketing So if I can't identify a bot the, uh. it's, it's bad for my job lah I guess So it yeah. could just be that Amy and Alex uh, Got away with I mean they paid their fine to get I, I, I feel like it's two Separate situations They did this And whoever Orchestrated whatever happened 
the closure of crack house and yep, like yep. the banning of like you know comedy was in a bad place but right now it's booming yeah like right now comedy like people like back then before crack house happened i used to tell people i do stand up comedy they would ask me oh malaysia got stand up comedy yeah? mm. and now like you don't have to like oh stand up comedy show where yeah, yeah. Mm. uh like well, that yeah it's definitely a good thing like but so um crack house was running for Seven years, is it? Eight, at that point, eight years. What is what was crack house to you? Or? To me, crack house was home, lah. Mm. Was home. I like that answer. Yeah, it was home. It was like like again, I was an outcast myself. Mm. Like I was a guy who saw things differently, especially from my own community. Yeah, like uh, like I want like like okay, what I want to talk about is actually like it's talking about Illuminati and all that. Mama, people are actually the Illuminati of Malaysia. Mm. Oh. They're literally everywhere, every mm. corner lot, mm. but no one knows about us. Mm. No one knows about our culture. Mm. Like people, like me personally, like growing up, people have like, oh, our our Malayu kan? Mm. Like, no, say India Muslim. Malayu lah. Ah, uh, like, like our whole identity doesn't exist no, wait, here. Sorry, they just basically they just think you're Indian. Yeah, think right. Indian. They just think you're yeah. Indian. It's not Malay. Oh yeah. I mean, so, I mean Indian. Sorry. As in like like here, race and religion is like mm. the, the because that's how what we learn in yeah. our textbook. Yeah, like ch- Indian Hindu. Yeah, Chinese Christian Chinese, or Buddhist. Ah, uh, Chinese. But I guess betul lah. Malayu means, means like Malaysian. No? Ah, so they thought you were Malaysian. Ah, yeah, Mal- like Malay, like ah. like Mal- no, this is Malaysia. Like mm. uh, Malays, Indians, mm. generally everyone. But I thought Malayu is like Chinese, Indian, Malay, more Malayu. Oh. Huh? Yeah. What? Or I mean, like, uh, like in oh, man, your I'm head, lah. I'm confused la. now. Yeah, in my head, I thought uh, it was like. No, no. Form, form. Like, I mean, like. The I thought Malayu is like a short form of Malaysian. Ah, oh, yeah. I thought Malayu is no. Malay. No, 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 bro. I don't think Damn. people say that. I've been wrong the whole time. Yes. Oh. Shit. It's so supposed ma- to be. It okay. is supposed to be. Yeah, like Indonesian, yeah. you don't say, "Oh, you Chinese Malay." You just yeah. call him Indonesian. Yeah. yeah, bro. It's so yeah. different, right? Yeah. yeah, I thought Malayu is like. Kota Malaysia. Ah, uh, okay. And it's like in Indonesia, it oh, is like us. Even like they have their Indian community, they have yeah. the Chinese community. It's more diverse, actually. Mm. Yeah, but so like basically, what I'm trying to say is like in my community, like stand up comedy isn't something we see as a career choice. It's a hobby. Even my parents until now, like they think it's a hobby. If they think it's something yeah, I'm doing Ashraf for is, fun, you know, have is this hobby that he's quite obsessed. Ah, uh, quite, quite yeah. obsessed that he's making money out of. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so me personally, like, like going into comedy, I memang felt like an outcast. And Crack House was there for me. Mm. It was a home for me. I worked there. I slept mm. there. I even prayed there. That like when I started performing, like opening for like uh, bigger comics, I was doing hey, weekend shows. The <laughs> weekend, do it. I was doing weekend shows. And I was going missing like half an hour before shows, so because I needed to go solat. Mm. So there was a mama downstairs where they had they had a small surau, mm. and Rizal Van Gisel, the ex owner of uh, Crack House, yes, and he sir. was like, uh, he was like, where are you going? Why, why are you going missing like 30 minutes before the show? Yeah. And then I'm like going solat lah, and then he's like. Can sell it here in the storeroom. Mm. Can sell it here, and then he moved all the beer cans and like. I mean, like that should not be uh, in the same sentence. But no, yeah, no, sure. no, no. Okay, that's the real Islam. Mm. Real Islam. She's right. You need to sell it. You just right have now. to need a clean place. Clean and place. And the fact, the fact that the owner of the clubhouse took the initiative to move everything around. He's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. He's a Muslim too. Lah, He's a Muslim too. But again, like not a lot. Yeah. There, yeah, not a lot of Muslims would do that, especially in Malaysia with that mentality. Yeah. Like being like, "No, pukul nak solat di sini do. Solat oh tu pula ini surau kan ada. Ah. It's the initiative. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the fact like you know it felt like a home. Hmm. It felt like I belonged there. Hmm. They weren't like oh just because you. I was the first comic to ever pray in Crack House, hmm. right? So even like comics that used to come to Malaysia back then, when they came back after COVID, they and then they opened the door, be praying inside, they'll be like, "Bro, this is the most halal thing I've seen this room being used for, right?" Yeah. So, like that was my home. Yeah. I worked there. I would go in the afternoon. They open at night. I'd, I'd go in the afternoon and like just be there until 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Yeah. So Crack House also right? There were other, other. Com- I don't know whether competitors, but other stand-up uh, mm. venues also. Yeah. But the most uh, consistent one was um, Crack House there, um, mm. home to a lot of our local comedians. Yeah. As we know, right, the the comics, the comic community is very small, mm. very niche. So for them, it's very important, uh, Crack yeah. House. And I think what's really sad was 
uh, what happened to uh, to Rizal lah. Rizal who was mm. the the owner of the the crack house and because of that whole incident incident where people immediately associated crack house with those people with being a place that is super bad haram and bad yeah. you know a lot of people who have no idea what stand up comedy that is that place yeah. is haram and bad yeah. all the prostitution places okay uh, that place yeah. is haram and bad they don't a lot of people don't even know how stand up comedy works man so yeah. the 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 most um the i think most important point is the fact that alex and amy they came over there they did when comics come over to try to go and do a open mic night they mm. do not tell the owner or the people organizing the mm. event the open mic event what they're going to talk about you you actually can't do that because yeah. the organizer is also somewhat yeah. an audience there mm. they might laugh or not laugh at your joke so why would you tell them yeah. what you're going to talk about before it's just how it is uh, yeah. in uh in open mic comedies yeah. i don't think any open mic comedies they do it where you have to go buy the material yeah no it doesn't, uh, it doesn't so work that way. open mic is the rehearsal mm. yeah it's where you test out your jokes and unfortunately stand up comedy is an art form where you need an audience to know whether your jokes work or yeah. not mm. right and and i mean like open mics have been happening like they've i mean like even ancient rome had open mics mm. yeah. it's not like a new thing oh yeah. tahun 2010 kita buat open mic di malaysia mm. open mics were a thing in art yeah. any form of art music has open art open, mm. open live open performance mic, live performance i i can i can bet you great rappers huh? like great rappers like kendrick even like you know Eminem and all this they go to open mics and they have stuff that they get rejected they mm. feel like this doesn't rhyme like this doesn't mm. you know yeah, this is rap. bad uh yeah. battle yeah. raps open mic you know they they learn they they develop mm-hmm. that is what stand up comedy open mic is for like you learn reaction it's mm. it's an art form where emotion is the main thing mm. stand up comedy right yeah. you make people you make people get in awe you make people surprise you make people laugh mm. make people cry is it's all in one i right, yeah. i feel like also right the is actually not for everyone man stand up comedy like yeah. it, like the audience also you know it's yeah. not for every audience cuz yeah. i i went to shows right and i'm i'm always the one that i'm not afraid to laugh yeah. i laugh if i think it's funny yeah. but i see people that they they hold it you can tell that they want to laugh yeah. but they hold in their laugh Yeah. A lot of the times they are, they look like they just got off work like at, yeah, at the yeah, bank yeah. or something like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, But yeah, they yeah. they is they just cannot let loose, you know. Yeah, you, I mean like preference against yeah. preference, right? Like like for the audience, uh, like 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 say lah, let's give an example. Dangdut music. Dangdut like Feng Tao, Malay Feng Tao yeah, music. Yeah. <laughs> so Dangdut music, like if not everyone is Not, not everyone likes dangdut music. Yeah. I personally, I feel like it's too loud. Mm. But I don't go to the pasar malam. Every pasar malam got dangdut music. We yeah. open ibang mana boleh pasang. Saya tak suka. Yeah. The first one like, kau tak suka kau belah. Yeah, yeah. Same lah. Yeah. Kau tak suka kau pergi lah tengok benda lain. Pergi lah tengok Maharaja lawak kau. Mm. Ha, pergi lah tengok lawak bongok bongok. Oh, bro, Maharaja yeah. lawak is so different. Yeah, it's it's, so it's slapstick, bro. slapstick racist humor. You see, okay. Crack house, this thing happen, ah. Huh? Maharaja Lawa, two, three times they got caught for doing blackface. I saw it. Nothing happened. The guys are still doing comedy. Rizal, by the way, cannot do business in KL. Can like he doesn't have his business is gone. Rizal, like, who was I the was owner, gone. A lot of people, my colleagues, I like. I was involved like in the case because one, I wanted to like. Okay, if you want to know why I stood with Crack House, come to watch my solo show at 19 October. National Mama, I'll tell you why I stood. Shit, I'm house. gonna come. Yeah, so I'm gonna come. Yeah. So, bro, you've been. Um, wait, 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 repeat the date again. 19 October, Where? next Saturday, Seoul City Hub, Clan okay. Jaya. Okay. Yeah, bro, bro. So, um, congrats on actually. Yeah. Um, it's it it took a while lah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think it, I, no no bro. Yeah, I don't yeah, think I, mean, I don't think it was. No, in a, a good while way, in yeah. a good way because, bro, I saw you during your first year. Yeah, you already had good four or five minutes like that. Yeah, already yeah. had solid good four or five minutes. Yeah, um, and it's very common that new co- comics, right? They would try and rush their special. Yeah, why do you feel that they and a special for people that don't know is they probably put out like a uh, forty minutes to an hour mm. of uh. Just all their best material, yeah. so that's the reason why they keep going to open mics, practice, practice. 
And then if, you know, this five minutes of your material doesn't, um, isn't, isn't good enough, you tweak some shit. And then you, okay, I'm satisfied with this five minutes. Yeah. Then you start building the next five or yeah. ten. And then you compile. So it took you four years, man. Four years. Uh, I mean, like, four years, like, like all my all my seniors yeah. are saying, oh, four years you can do one special already, huh? It actually takes longer. It actually takes it's longer. It actually takes longer. Yeah. It, like, like, I mean, like, it, it shouldn't. Be, uh, like, I mean, like, like uh, older comics have figured it out. Like, it's not like, you know, like, it, there's things like when you do stand up, you'll understand. Yeah. So, but, but when I, why I took four years to do yeah. it is also because the case was so. Like, after it happened, I really thought like, there's n- going to be no stand up in Malaysia. I think it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah. No, it's a blessing in disguise. You, are, you are meant for bigger things. Yeah, yeah. Like like now thinking about it, like if it was still there, I'd be still working there. I'd still be in that like, you know, not not a bad thing. Mm. I'd learn more, but uh like wh- how we saw it is like Ragnarok. Mm. Uh like it the place is no more, mm. but every comic who stepped on that Krakow stage, mm. Krakow still lives within them. Mm. They have that ruggedness. Mm. They have they they no matter what stage you put them on, mm. they can go all out. Mm. Uh, no. That's the difference. Now, yeah. right, the not now lah. Maybe five yeah. years later or so. Yeah. New comics, all right. They'll think of anyone who's ever performed at Crack House mm. as the real pioneers. Uh, but they are, of course, they they probably oh. would have forgotten about like the Harris and the mm. Joanne comes and all. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Crack House becomes like the new pioneer place mm. <laughs> to the newer. Don't give yeah. up. Yeah, I mean like no, of course not giving up. And yeah, and I'm I'm I want to go. I'm actually going harder right now. Mm-hmm. Hence why I'm releasing National Mama this year lah. So National Mama is is basically about me finding my identity. Mm. Like uh, uh, was it Indian Muslim? Was my is my identity based on my race? Mm. No. Is my identity based from where I'm from? Klang. Mm. Also no. And oh, oh, oh. Huh? Carry on, carry on. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and and as I did comedy, that's when I realized when the crack out and and surprisingly during the crack house thing happened, that's when I found my identity. Mm. I knew I was a comedian. Mm. No matter where you put me, what situation you put me in, I'd still be funny. Mm. I'd the, still look at the funny. The yeah. the number one thing that um anyone who wants to go to your show or who would go to your show will yeah. ask. Will they be laughing? Bro, yes. Come. Let's go. Let's fucking laugh. go. Yeah. yeah. Well, when, okay, what, what are the dates again and the venue? Uh, 19, 19 October, 8.30 p.m. Seoul City Hub, PJ. Okay. Uh, Jaya, sorry. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, anyone who's interested, I will put the link also to get tickets down in the description in uh, this I'm podcast episode. I'm not buying episode. the ticket. You better fucking blanche me to go there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How how long is it actually? Your it's your a one hour show, like it's my hour. first wa- first hour solo. Mm. Yeah, and uh, for y'all who know Murti, who's also been in oh. this, he's opening for me. Yeah, he's not been doing stand up a long time. Uh, so yeah. you know, like now now he can do stand up lah. Yeah. yeah. Now he has the yeah. robot leg. Papa really. Savage. Yeah. So he's saying that this friend Murti couldn't do stand up before, but now he can. Yeah. Now, now he Savage. Can. Do you know Murti? No. no. no, no. Okay. Yeah. 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 Anyways, anyone who knows Ashraf will know Murti. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, please. He's opening for me. So please come uh, to all my mama, uh, macha, machis all watching this. Please come. Yeah, congrats, yeah. bro. Thank you. Yeah, bro. I look forward to checking it out. And yeah, Thank I'll see you. you guys at his special as well. Anyone who is gonna show up at National Mamak on the 19th yes. see you guys there. Yeah. yeah. If you wanna do meet and greet, so again. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Let's get it podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, guys. This is it for today's episode. Um, we've talked for two. Two and a half hours. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Your thoughts. What you thought about this episode. Make some friends in the comments. Suggestions who you want to see in future podcast episodes. We've got Space Dollar in the house today. Ashraf Kamal, everyone. Stand up comic. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Give it up for Space Dollar and Ashraf. Let's get it. So my homies. Missing my oldies, my brothers, my crowdies We all went to court, but before only course that we knew were the ones where we were shooting that selling Kobe To a legend, rest in peace to the old me Rest in peace to my brothers, rest in peace to my whole team The oldest, I'm missing my shawty